All right, just just for my own self. Howdy there, YouTube. Price here. We're over on Stump Miss. I am sick, and we're playing more Graveyard Keeper. Um, okay. So, we're doing this as part of our charity streams, and I was like, let's jump back into it. Just so you all know, I'm incredibly foggy and tired. Let's figure out where we're at tech-wise and what we were going for. Zombie logistics would be good. Um... Okay, improving our church. Writing, I think I was working on because I want to make better uh, um, sermons. Brewing would be good to get going. Fire Facer with them hundred dollar dues. Happy stunt, miss. I got on all three trees. Thank you so much. Let me get you one of these guys. So again, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, it's going to be frequent interruptions. Just roll with it. It's all for charity. Every time, just be like every time that you get annoyed because I have to stop and do something like this. Remember that this is feeding needy people around the world. And if that upsets you, reconsider things. Uh, okay. Foya. Faisa. Let's get you on here. Do. 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 To put it into perspective, Firefacer just fed 30 people. Okay. We'll definitely hit 80k today. Let's do it. And beyond, y'all. During the Great Zumbini race, y'all better be raising a ton of money, okay? Brian and Anna have been planning this for a long time. It's the culmination of a, of a thousand year rivalry going back to their ancestors. Um, oh, I think we were probably going for marble. That's probably what I was going for. Oh, and gold. Right? Uh, f uh, um, casting gold. This is what I wanted. These two. I remember now. Um, let's see. So I need a bunch of red points. So we'll work on that. Some blue, but mostly red. Because uh, I'm going to need 300 of those. And then what day of the week is it? It is moon day. Perfect, because we're going to buy some books. How am I doing on money? One silver is not going to cut it, but we can sell some metal parts, maybe. Okay, so we'll do that. All right. It has been a little bit, so I'm, it's going to take me a little to um, remind myself where we're at. But um, definitely have oh some some goals. But in general, the Graveyard Keeper, you can really do whatever. Oh, is my inventory that full? Okay. As long as you're doing something, you're building towards something, you know? Who was that? Xerath! Excuse me. Xerath donating $25. I finally made it on the last stop, Miss Tree! Thank you so much! Let me get that down here for you in just a sec. Um, appreciate ya. Really appreciate ya. Zarenth. Oh, that voice. Uh, randomly today, I was looking at my YouTube channel because I was uploading the um, the last episode of Graveyard Keeper, the one that would come before this one. Um, and uh, Lana, there's nothing there for you. Lana's down here like, oh, are you dropping food for me? No. You shouldn't be eating anything anyways, Miss Pukenstein. Um, I, uh, was looking at my stuff and I was looking at, like, what's on my front page, because usually you're supposed to, like, update that, change it every now and then, and, um, I noticed my series that is from forever ago, and it's actually on the main stump channel. This is how long ago it is, because it's a single player series on the main stump channel. Um, and it's my Dragon Ball Xenoverse series. And I forgot that I full-on did intros and outros for every one of those episodes that was, like, full-on in the style of Dragon Ball Z. So I was like, previously on Dragon Ball Xenoverse! And then I would, like, do the whole thing. And, um... I'm really, I just, like, going back and looking at it, I was like, I'm really proud of that. That's, that's one of those things. Every now and then you go back through your old work and you go, you know what? I'm actually not the worst. Uh, okay, let's grab those just to put them somewhere else. I have wine. So wine is like what everybody says. It's the best, like, just free food. And I say free. 
uh, consistently usable food. So between that and cakes, we're good. Um, glad to see I'm well enough to be streaming. Hoping better soon. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. Um, I think the worst of it was yesterday morning. Um, yeah, I won't get into the gruesome details. Do, 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 do. Okay. You got it while it was in early access, but didn't ever pick it back up. Which one? This or uh, or Xenoverse? Herbert Schnerber with them seven dollars thirteen cents. Just doing my part. We will reach the boobies. Indeed, we shall. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Now let's get rid of these things. It's so easy to get caught up doing this stuff too, so I have to like pay attention to the time. Um, no, those are flowers. Seeds, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Do, 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 do. Cats, man. Cats. All kinds of trouble. They've been, they've been troublesome. I think because Chrissy and I have been sick, you know, we've been less active, so they're just like, entertain me. Entertain me. It's like, go outside. You got a catio. Uh, okay, so let's go to the the dead horse. Let's go to the um, blacksmith. Let's see if he's got money for me. I can't remember if last time if we like tapped him out or not. You played GK in early access and quite a bit after release. Had tons of faith um, and zombies, but haven't played since. Yeah, the DLCs have been nice. How much money has he got? Oh, 15. Yeah, he's got nothing. Okay, so then in order to get the money to do this. What else can I sell? Food, I guess. I guess I can go check and see. Oh, actually, you know what? How much will Herodric give me for this wine? Because I'll sell the wine if it means I get the money for the, the books. Trade? Okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll do it. Um, finish. Is that not? Oh, my, uh, I've been playing so much Switch that my A's and B's and my Y's and X's are, uh, uh, confuzzled. Um, you think zombies were the first DLC? Yes, they were a free update. Have I not given the merchant his veggies and spice? I think we got that going last time, or we were close. Um, I need the trade license. I need the trade license, which is, like, 50 silver or something. Um, so, yes, we're on the way, but we got things. I have not given him the spice, um, just because I haven't gotten around to the alchemy part of things. Okay. Do, do, whoops. Do, 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 do. You never even thought about selling things to merchants like that with the blacksmith? I mean, that's the best way to make money, I would say, in, like, the early game. Once you can start making iron-based stuff. It's a good way to supercharge yourself. You just do things like the church and the merchant. I mean, those also work. It really is just like knowing all of the different places where you can gain those benefits. So we are because green tech's here at Envy with what I have. Oh, I'm trying to think, what's the best way to build up green tech? All right, and then here, we're gonna, because right now I actually want a bunch of red. Uh, okay, I can buy all of these, so we will. And there goes all my money, but now, oh, like I said, the switch buttons are going to, I'm going to be a little confused for a bit. All right. Consume, consume. All right, where does that put us at? 237, 299, and 39. Well, that means I can get to iron castings. So let's get that. Now what do I need? Still need a little bit more blue one more blue and 70 60 really um red which means i could probably do that just by uh quarrying to be honest 
Uh, so let's go up to the quarry. I can now upgrade my furnaces into being level threes, I think it was. There's a zombie there, so I just need to ore some things. Oh, and I can... I can't marble quarry yet. That's still coming. Green is the medium difficulty to gather because once you have the bees and berry bushes, it's easy to get them. Um, yeah, I, of all of them, I feel like green has been the one that's always been the least for me. Because also, I think you get a bunch from farming, right? Is that true? I may be wrong, but I think it's from farming as well. So, like, once you get the farming going, it really doesn't stop, and it goes fast. So, yeah, of all of them, I've found that blue is hard early on. Blue is very hard early on until you can, like, consistently build, like, um, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, until you can consistently build, uh, like, gravestones and stuff. Um, and then red later on just because you need so much of it. Like right now, how I'm needing uh, 200 and then 100, you know. Blue, I feel like you rarely ever need that much. Like 100, I feel like, is like the most. Ooh, got slowed. Why did I get slowed there? That was weird. Did y'all see that? Weird. Going up. Seems to be slower. Um, farming the berries and apple trees. Cooking. Oh, cooking too. Cooking as well. Um, made so many marble headstones. Exactly. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. Just headstones all the way down. All right. Where did this put me? Not close. Well, 57. Get a couple more of these. Do, 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 do. But yeah. For me, it's the blue is the tougher one because it's just like there's few things in nature that um, it works with. Do, do, do. Okay, energy's about to run out. And then it's going to be Sunday, so we got to go do our sermon. Do, 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 do. To be frank, also, until the first stream of this new save, I didn't know you could put zombies on any workbench and have them do stuff. Oh, yeah. What do you think they were only useful for? Like porters and, and lumber? I could see that um, mistake making sense. But yeah, the zombies are automation. At the end of the day, the zombies are an engine in any other game. Okay, so we're working for the jewelry because like I said, the jewelry, the jewelry, um, the specifically like the gold bars and the silver bars are the pathway to all the monies. Okay. And I would like, because I don't think I have this going yet, right? Yeah, I'd like to get zombie mining going. Because then we'll just have sort of an infinite source of uh, iron. What do we got over here? Ooh, yeah, we'll bring this back. Oh. Do, do. Oh, come on. All right, we'll go back home. Let's put all this stuff away where it belongs. Ooh, so much silver. That's going to be so much money. Okay. The pops and sounds are so good. It does have really good audio. It really does. Two of three bodies. Are they on pallets? They are. Good. Is the goal secret or it's secret? Well, we don't necessarily know what it's going to be, though. What is the fence going to cost me to upgrade? Planks, nails, and stone. Okay, that's doable. Do, do, do. Wow, I must have just upgraded this place, huh? Not too long ago. All right, prayer for faith. Let's do it. Um, but yeah, so I was working on, I wanted money. And then I want to be able to get the higher level um, sermons. Mostly I want to get the ones that will give me the most faith. I think I've found in my other files that the combo prayer 
um, is the uh, the best one because it gives you money and faith. So yes, the current goal is eighty thousand dollars, eighty or eighty eighty thousand comma eighty one dollars and thirty five cents. Only eight. That feels low, but it's better than nothing. Okay, we got a couple. We got 20. Your main money is always donations. Money is important in the middle stretch of the game. Yes, that's why I like the combo prayer, because you get good... Um, you got a silver combo prayer. Yeah, silver combo prayer with a high-quality church. You're getting 20 plus faith and 6 silver each day. Or each, each prayer. Okay, so now we do want better church benches. We want, oh, okay. I don't have any of the other things unlocked. Okay, I've played so many files of this in recent history that like, it's always tricky for me to remember which ones I'm currently working on. Um, how am I with Clotho? Because I know I was supposed to be doing stuff with Clotho before. Where you at Clotho? Help her restore her memory. Health potions, what I need for, I think. In your old church, you had a gold donor prayer. Uh, you were uh, you were fifty to sixty silver or something. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Once you get them going. Oh, I need to replant all my stuff now. Do 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 do. Done. Whoops. That was weird. Sometimes you do that where you, you accidentally grab the wrong spot. Just make all the things. I like that it remembers what you've done before. Okay. Is that it? Is that all my plants? I think it is. Ah. Okay. We'll call that good. Do I not have any stick? Okay, I need to make some more stick ones so I can make more lentils. I need to get rid of these because we were going to move them over to that side. Now I'm remembering. Now I remember. Okay. So from there, let's put these apples, this honey, and these berries away where they belong. Ooh, I got a good amount of dough. What is it that's holding me back from making more cake? Nothing. Ooh, make a bunch of cake. And I will go and check on my bees. And be ready to slice up some, uh, some bats that are going to appear here. Aubrey-Ann, welcome on in. How you doing? We're, uh, we're on day seven of our... Stump Miss Streams, we're raising money for a good charity. Look at that guy going. Archer bud, I'm busy, okay? You've already been fed, so don't act like you need to be fed. Ow! Look what you did, Archer. You got me got. He's been such a pest lately. He really has. I think it's, I switched their food. Which they really like, right? They really like their new food. They go bonkers for it. But it is a lower calorie food because they've both been gaining weight. And um, I feel like I don't, I don't think I overfeed them, um, but he's trying to get me to. And in the past, I have been very bad about giving in to his whining because sometimes Lana will just eat his food. So now it's like a whole dance of having to be like, okay, how do I get them to, you know, eat in balance? Buddy, what? What do you need? What is it? Come here. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Hey everybody, look. It's a little archer beans. You say hi? Yeah? Yeah, you little stinky boy? Hey, 
How you doing? Dad, I want you to tell the world to donate. Isn't that right, Archer? You want them to give give food not just to you, but to needy people around the world? Yeah? Yeah? You know what? <clears throat> his mom took his collar off. I think now he's feeling, uh... He's feeling wild. He's been freed from his prison. <clears throat> Which is fine. They don't get outside. Honestly, the uh, <laughs> the collar was more to because uh, it had the bell on it to keep him from sneaking up on Lana because he can be a butthead. Okay, so now we can upgrade these guys. What is it going to cost to upgrade you? Oh, perfect. Do do do. He wants all the food. Yep. <laughs> Soft kisses for the soft giddy. Such a sweetie. Uh, all right, we'll go ahead and need a cake just to get this done. All right. Now, we are going to need more fuel, so I'm going to need to go get some more coal. Have I been making steel? I have been, right? I think I have. Um, Let me check. Yeah, we've got some steel. Okay, I don't need all those parts right now. What was I just about to do? We're getting that guy upgrading. Tech-wise, I still need a bunch of red. I need one blue. I guess let's go ahead and knock the blue out of the way. Let's make a headstone. Your, uh, your dogs always miss their collars when they took them off? Really? I guess, yeah, when they get familiar with them. I need to deal with all these. Do I have a zombie out here? I feel like I took all the zombies from here away to go do other more valuable jobs. Um, when you had boxers, they had chain collars. Oh, yeah. I feel like I've heard that those hurt, right? Or is it just some of them do? Okay, let's go ahead and we're going to teleport back out to the quarry. Continue doing what we were doing before. I want to get my... They were loose? Okay, good. Um, now, did I leave? I did not leave wedges here, so I will do that. Oh, coal! That's what I needed. I wanted more coal, which will also serve the purpose of what I'm trying to do here, which is to get, get a bunch of uh, red points. Oh, boy. All right. So, um... Hi, Blue Rose. How you doing? So one of the um, goals that we had for our um, fundraising was for us to do Sean Bean Quest. A very northern Christmas is what it's called. Though I'm going to probably change the... Um, you're pleased I'm not dead? I'm, I'm glad I'm not either. Um, uh, I'll be changing the name of it because I don't know anything about the north of England and I don't want to be... Uh, Offensive. I'm already offensive enough with the accents that I do. Um, perfect timing. I got my hundred. Let's go repair this pickaxe and then let's um, get our upgrades. Um, oh, I wish I could cancel from there. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Repairing. Um, so, Sean Bean Quest. Um, and it's, you know, based around a Christmas a Christmas Netflix special where Sean Bean needs to survive. Like, that's the whole goal, because Sean Bean always dies. Um, so that's the, that's the thing of it. So that, I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do that, because it's weird. It's a weird thing. All right. Honey's good. Berries. Okay. Lots of dough. I mean, we're getting a good amount of things. Beeswax goes downstairs. These go downstairs. Okay. Go and feel better. I'm feeling better. Better than I was. I think yesterday was... Yesterday morning was the worst of it. 
but um, feeling better today. Oh yeah, let's grab planks. And do we have nails somewhere? Yes, nails and stone. And let's go fix that fence. And then, oh, let me do my upgrade because I know what I wanted, which is jewelry. So now once I can smelt these, then we're gonna be able to um, make a lot of money, which we'll have it on the next day. So I might wanna try and cycle through my furnaces. There's no way to cancel. So I may want to um, build another one, I guess. All right, that was a plus 10, that's nice. Do, do, do. Is that my beeswax? Yes. Did I leave it somewhere? Yeah, beeswax in the basement <laughs> for making um, candles. Um, and then these bodies, were they both good or was I just being... Yeah, these are both good bodies. These are good zombie bodies. So that's why I was holding on to them. I could make, I think, do I have the zombie juice? If I have the zombie juice, I could actually make two more zombies right now. I have the faith for it. Um, but I think I wanted to save some of that faith for making the next. Yeah, I have one zombie juice. Wait, where'd the other faith go? Oh, wow, I have 30 faith on me. Okay, oh, and then B. Uh, B's wax. What else we got? Let's put all the faith in one spot. Um, that one's okay there. Okay. I think that's everything that needs to go down here. Sulfur and limestone might also go down here, but I'm not positive. Um, oh, my brain, y'all. I'm so foggy. So, we were working on... I came down here. There's faith. I was thinking maybe zombies, but then... Ah, prayer. Um, prayer's in the other one. Right. So, I need to be able to make notes and things. Oh, was I supposed to buy ink? Is that something I was supposed to do? Do, 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 do. Okay, prayer for faith. I don't know combo prayer yet. Okay, it's only 20 blue. That ain't that hard to get. Let's see. Oh, and then did I have anything else for here? Okay, and so we've used all of our buckets. All right, we made our... Okay, okay, okay. It's like, it really is just like cycling through like, wait, what was I doing? Wait, what was I doing? Wait, what was I doing? Um, okay. So I'll get the gold... Or I mean, I have the gold and the silver unlocked. I might not be able to get any before this merchant day, but by the next one, we're going to make a killing. Um, all right, let's get some grapes going. Oh, I keep doing it. It's Nintendo Switch, I'm telling you. It's, it's one of those things, it, like, if there is one thing that I despise the most through the history of gaming is that uh, the, the different layouts of buttons, whether a game is based out of Japan versus based out of the West, um, is so frustrating <laughs> because in uh, Japan, the Y, the Y is on the left side, the X is on the top side, the B is on the bottom side, the A is on the right side, and then in, in the West it's it's flipped. I don't know who made the switch, I f like I, not the not the console, but who made the decision to flip those. I'm pretty sure it was the West, but that was a rude thing to do. That was a rude thing to do, because man, oh man. If you go back and forth between different games, you're going to make a ton of mistakes. I frequently do. All right, replanting everything. I think I had four silvers that I could put down. Yeah, nice. Okay. What's on me? Some of this I can put away. I wish I could put compost heaps up here. That'd be nice. Okay, we'll take the grapes downstairs. I can make one bucket, I think. I don't know how many grapes that I come away with. Oh, I can, I can make two silver buckets, probably. Boom, boom. Look at all that cake. See, there's some good green for you. Okay. Nice. Do, 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 do. 
Nice. Oh, wonderful. And I'm, I'm good enough at this that I do always get the exact type. Um, you've learned from sharing beds that you're a horrible one to share with? Like with your pets or with other people? Whoa. Goodness. I certainly squirt. <clears throat> squirm. But I'm also a light sleeper. Doo -doo -doo. Chrissy's on the opposite end of the spectrum. Chrissy could sleep through a hurricane. So it's nice that my constant fidgeting doesn't really seem to bother her once she's asleep. Um, that's also why I get everybody up in the morning. Doo -doo -doo. Like, there's no question, no doubt in my mind that once we have little kiddos, I'm going to be the one getting everybody uh, moving, getting everybody off to school and everything. Much as my mother did when I was a child. Do, 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 do. You want to say there's a shortcut to get to the grapevine cliff? Yeah, there is. The, I mean, the shortcut is where I've been going. The shortcut is... Um, here. So that's the way I've been going up there. Because it is so much better than having to go all the way around through the... Um, up the hill. It's day seven. Yep. Yep. Right? Time flies. Hello, zombie friend. Um, let's make some... Okay, we're going to make some billets, which I think I can do here. Do. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm actually very excited to see the Great Zumbini race. Oh, there goes my energy. I mean, I got plenty of cake. Let's just keep it going. Do, 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 do. Um, might as well, because dude's gonna fill it back up. So what I wanted to do was make a ton of wood wedges, because what I want to do is I want to go up to the quarry and leave them there. Um, and then whenever I want to like uh, quarry things, I don't got to worry about it. Eventually it's not an issue, but I'm not necessarily working right now towards quarrying as my main focus, other than just being able to get marble is the main thing. Boom, boom. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to sell jewelry or gold or silver to the guy this time. So next, um, I think I call these Tuesdays. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Merchant days. Do, 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 do. Howdy, Andy Mosh. How you doing? Welcome on in. We're uh, raising some money for a great cause. Okay. Sleep times. Oh, someone in my comments asked, um, does it matter when you sleep in this game? Um, no. Not, not as far as I can tell. I, I think maybe there's a slight difference in the amount of energy that you gain, but it, it's minor, if anything. Um, but really, it's more about sleep when the, the debuff shows up. Okay, so let's head to the quarry. And then I do this. Whamp. And that's that. So then, let's go ahead and let's start getting some more stone, because we have plenty of iron. Uh, but I would like to do a little bit of some of this. Um, okay, so let's think other goals. All right, so I've got the other DLCs. I need to start working on the refugee stuff. Um, so I think we'll go and check them out today. I have a bunch of faith, and I know that faith is a component of what I need to be moving that forward. So... Um, I uh, will be doing that because I've been putting it off. Oh, what's wrong with? Um, only because uh, I've had other things that I've wanted to focus on. But like once I have the prayer, I'm good to go. And I think I have more faith than I need in order to do that. 
Faith and food. Yeah, and then there like there's a couple of other things like but in order to build them their tents or whatever, their houses, uh, you need to use faith. And that's kind of been the thing where I'm like I don't want to waste faith um because it's such a limited resource, right? You can only get it once a week. All right. We'll call that good for now. Oh, I don't even have you set to do stone, just just iron. <laughs> Craft, and then you go over. What is going on over there? Archer, what are you doing? I don't even know how you make noises like that. He's goofing with things. I told you, he's being a pest lately. What's he doing? He's, he's, he's gunning for... Oh gosh, I keep hitting the wrong button. So, you go like this, you hit A. You go back over here, you hit Y. Again, that's the mistakes I keep making. Archer, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're about to get kicked out, bud. You're about to get that door closed. Goodness. Children. Children, children, children. Archer commits crimes. Yeah. How could he? My sweet baby boy. Mog the dinosaur resubbing for seven months with that prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh, bad. By goodness. Okay. Let's see. You just checked your Steam stats and you played just over 100 hours and you last played July 8th of 2020. Hey, Glassy, donating $25. Stamp miss! Day one of trying to get on everyone's tree. Happy to see you streaming, Graveyard Keeper. Thanks so much. Welcome on in. Have fun getting on everyone else's tree. Don't forget to tune into the Great Zoom Beanie Race here in the evening. Do. Oh, man. Now that y'all got me thinking, you, you mentioned earlier. Hey, go, Glassy. You're getting on the tree. Um. The popular clips and that one of me from Paranormal Activity VR. Um, a, that'd make a great TikTok. And B, man, what a moment in reflexes. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen it, I learned what I would do if a ghost ever attacked me out of nowhere. And that's flail my fists at it wildly. Um, I mean, if it were corporeal, I would have kicked its butt. Uh, let's head to, well, let's head to the refugee camp. Let's see. You better enjoy the better safe soul DLC because it has a cool effect. And also the indoor crematorium is so, so useful. There's a, oh, I haven't gotten there. So that's the thing. I don't know a lot about the DLCs. We're at 2.97 out of three happiness. Um, have I not built them a water well yet? I guess I need them to be slightly happier. All right. I'm going to give y'all some cakes. How does that sound? 2.97 kidding me eight cakes how's that feel all right we'll come back in a few we'll come back like later in the day okay let's see am i planning on playing the new avatar game it's a bit controversial but i was curious is it controversial why is it controversial people upset about it i have no plans on playing it just because i don't really find the avatar brand that interesting like the thing i like about the movies is like the world building i find the stories like typical and bland like they really are like the most generic um fantasy movie stories that there are sci-fi movies but i mean like that's that's what james cameron does and he does it well he tells the typical hero's journey. He does it well, but like once you've seen it, you've seen it. Ubi in general is causing a bit of an upset right now. You're a bit foggy as to why. Let's see. <laughs> if your problems were corporeal, you'd kick their butts. Yeah. Everybody thought we were talking about Last Airbender. No, 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 no. I knew it was the new Avatar Blue People game because... I mean, I've seen it popping up around. I was actually shocked when I realized like, it was coming out like tomorrow. I was like, oh, I thought that game came out like a year ago. But like 
I watched the newer Avatar, and again, like, I think it was better than the first one, to be honest. Uh, more interesting to me. Um, I think that has more to do with, like, the ocean wildlife that they created. Do, 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 do. I uh, grew up on um, Blue Planet, if people are aware of that. Fantastic documentary series, David Attenborough. Um, my grandmother was real big into We Needed to Learn um, science. She, she was very much about like taking us to the science museum, like making sure that we were educated. Um, and um, obviously, as somebody who went on to higher education, I uh, greatly appreciate that my grandmother did that. Um, saw an advert today. That was the first you'd heard of it. Saw the water one in 3D, and you have to say the ship sinking scene looks sick. Yeah. Planet Earth is great, too. Planet Earth is kind of like the extension of Blue Planet. Um, it's like, there's a whole series. Like, I, I used to own, I mean, I do still own all of them. You love Sir David Attenborough? I know, right? Because I think before that, it was like Life of Mammals or something. Blue Planet wasn't the first, but it was certainly huge. Sigourney Weaver narrated the US version? Yes. And while Sigourney did a great job, it is inferior to um, the David Attenborough version. I used to tell this joke, um, the dinosaur doc he did. Did he do um, Walking with Dinosaurs? Uh, every documentary he does, you're in. It's true. You thought it was Planet Earth and then Blue Planet. You have both in DVD form. They're both great. Uh, Planet Earth came afterwards for sure. Planet Earth came out while I was an adult and I was watching it like as it um, came out. And Blue Planet was out when I was a kid. It was like in the 90s. Uh, Fetchy with that prime for 78 months. Missed the stream with Rick, at least in time for today's stream. Yeah, Rick and Chrissy were both on for the... Um, uh, and Ryan, uh, Corsair. Um, we're all on for the... Uh, the Fortnite stream, which you can probably go back and watch the VOD, you know, give it a check. Uh, so, yeah, I think that it was probably, oh, Prehistoric Planet, so that's the newer one. I didn't know uh, he did the newer one. I haven't checked that one out yet because I think it's on Apple TV or something, which I don't have. Um, let's see. But, um, but yeah, just great stuff. And I've always been a, a nerd. Um, when it comes to like learning like that and stuff, but, uh, so I've always, I've had this joke. There's also the series life, which kind of came out after, um, planet earth and there's planet earth too. And then there's life too. And then, um, empires, not empires, the undergrowth, but life in the undergrowth, I think is one of my favorites, which is all about teeny tiny things. Um, it's worth the watch. I will check it out. Oh, I mean, I've seen the trailers and everything. And I've been like, how have I been missing this? I'm a dinosaur nerd. One of my first books that my grandmother gave me because she knew I loved dinosaurs was um, The Dinosaurs of Texas. Um, fantastic for me learning. That's when I learned that velociraptors aren't velociraptors in um, Jurassic Park, that they are actually Deinonychus. Um, which were in the region of Texas. Uh, what are we working on? Who else has things? Silver Star Wine. Oh, I should go check out my wine. I need to upgrade our church in the graveyard. I need to bring some faith to Miss Charm. Bottle of wine for a story. I could do that. Question about the vampires. Oh, we want to go check the... Um, the uh, refugee camp. Okay. Backing up. A joke I used to tell back in, like, grad school and stuff about... Um, Planet Earth and all those documentaries is that the American versions are dumbed down. Um, which, okay. Um, but if you go and watch them and you listen, let's see, Parts and Stone, Dowels and Cloth, a bed. I can make a bed. All right. Dowels and Cloth, Stone and Parts. Um, they're dumbed down. So there was like a scene in Blue Planet where there's like, I think it's like the sailfish going along. 
and it's like in the British version, it's like the sailfish is a fish that lives in the middle of the ocean and can be seen moving at high speeds in order to accept its prey. It does this and it does that, right? And it goes like all in is just like this whole spiel about it. And then you go and watch the American version and it's like a fish. It just It's like that. It's like it literally is the difference between getting like an essay's worth and getting just like the bare minimum. Um, no shade to Sigourney Weaver. Not her fault. It's the uh, the uh, producers not thinking that Americans can handle that kind of information. Do we still play Palea? Um, no, I haven't played in a while. I haven't played since it came out. It was a fun game. I just sort of reached the ceiling and then stopped checking it out. Um, I may pop back into it at some point. Oh, goodness. My throat's getting dry. Boom, boom. All right, let's get some parts. Let's get some stone. Do, no stone in there. Do, 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 do. I only have the one stone. This is why I'm making stone up top. All right, there we go. I think I need more than that, though. Parts, though, I should have plenty. Lurk mode for your break. You're cool, Staven. The doc with Benedict Cumberbatch continuously pronouncing penguin wrong. It's the best. Penglings. And so we find penglings. 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 It's so good. Twelve sixty and sixty six cents to our first goal of the day. Mm? Y'all could be a part of history by making us get to boobies before Anna's turn is up. <clears throat> oh, and we're only an hour and fifteen minutes into my stream. We got this, y'all. We got this. Um, let's head to the quarry for some stone. You learn. Uh, you learn that we don't do geography as a school subject. Um, yeah, you learn a, like basic geography in elementary school. But no, this is America. You know? We deliberately are taught nothing about the rest of the world. You want to know why? Because if you start to learn about the rest of the world, you learn that we're the bad guys. We learn... <laughs> we learn American history. <laughs> we learn British history. And we learn... Um, Western history, specifically like ancient Rome and stuff like that. So if you are, oh, not enough energy. Um, if you are from anywhere else, the reason we don't learn anything about you is because we learn that we're the bad guys. We're supposed to know that we're the good guys. We save the world. We're blah, blah, blah. Um, but as soon as you're like, oh, what's the history of let's say um, Puerto Rico. What's the history of the Middle East? What's the history of South America? What's the history of Japan? Like so many things where it's like, if you look into the US's relationship with all these places, it's like, oh, are we the baddies? So, um, so yeah. Do, do. You know, not going to get deep into it, but there's a certain world event that's going on right now where the rest of the world's in agreement, except for us, and I think it proves something about us. Do, do, do. Okay, we'll keep going this away. Let's get the nice number for a second time pre Enna stream. I mean, that would be the best. It's the best. If we could do it before Enna's stream, do it before the Great Zimbini race, um, but uh, then slightly surpass it. We take a screenshot and we say, oh no, Enna, we did it again. Let's see. Most of our school history ends at World War II. It took until 10th grade to make it to the 80s. Uh, are you talking about American? Because, yeah. You want to know why? <laughs> because that's the last time you can say we were on the good side. 
It's like everything after that in American history is just like, you know, colonialization, essentially. Most of the world leaders are doing the same as the U.S. regarding that matter. Yeah, but at least when it came to signing, like, you know, about like, hey, maybe let's stop this or slow these things down, you know. Reaganomics, you mean the most failed economic system in history? The thing that has directly led to the downfall of the American economy and thus the world economy? All right, I'll stop being political. We're just trying to raise money for charity. Um, you're eternally grateful that the education where you live doesn't shy away from the bad parts of our history in Sweden. Yeah, y'all up in those Nordic countries. Maybe it's because of, like, Viking history and stuff. I don't know. But y'all have always been very open about, like, these are the bad things that have happened everywhere. Here's where we participated. Here's where everyone else participates. Shouldn't we grow? Like, yeah. What's Zumbini? Zumbini is, like... It's an old game from, like, the 90s that's sort of like an educational game about matching. Brian and Anna are both huge fans, and so they're going to be playing it um, for us. Residential tent. We need to buy some cloth, which we can do once the, the dude shows up again. All right. I forget. Can I actually do anything from this? No. So this is this is theirs. They got it covered. I'll put a couple more cakes in here. Oh, did they gather their own berries? They did. Well, isn't that special? Okay. Alright, let's head home. Alright, we're slowly upgrading this. We're gonna really try to do this. Did I get the cognac last time? I think I did. You argue it's not politics, it's humanity. Yeah. No, I mean, I get that. For sure. Um, but I think during this context, it's more important to talk about what we're working on, which directly goes to aid in that situation, um, and not to get bogged down in the specifics of it. Because everyone's aware. If you're here, you're aware. And you know we're the bad guys and that's that's the important thing to remember we're the bad guys and if you can't recognize that we're the bad guys you're helping the bad guys do 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 do, do. all right cool let's start making some gold oh i need to fill this back up with coal which we already grabbed we already grabbed boom all right um Okay. Do 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 do. Okay. Also, Anna, we're we're gunning for the boobies number. Taking you down. Do do do. Man, I really gotta clear that iron. Maybe I should make a third furnace. To be honest. Can I not build a furnace to be? I can. All right, I just need some complex parts and two parchment. You second that, what I said about charity, not the boobies? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's one of those different strategies for different groups of people. There is no one size fits all on how to deal with, uh, with these issues. And, and ultimately, it's sort of like a... It's sort of like the old phrase that's actually wrong, which is you attract more flies with honey rather than vinegar, which is actually totally false. It is the actual opposite. If you want to catch a bunch of flies, put out some vinegar. Let me tell you. Because um, I used to have, have a big fly problem in my old apartment because other people in my building did not take care of their apartments. Um, and so the best way I found to deal with that was... You put off, put out a little cup with like uh, apple cider vinegar, drop or two of uh, dish soap. You will catch all of them. Um, do 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 boo. All right, we're on. Whose day is this? This is the bad guys' day. 
This is the um, that guy, the Inquisitor's Day. He needs Silver Star wine. I don't have any yet. Then I can get the permissions. Need to get the trade license, but I need a lot more money, which we will get on Merchant Day. Um, okay, let's work on the church. If we can improve the church, maybe. And then what else did I want to use faith for? Because I can make more zombies. What do I want with Jerry slash Gary? Because we did the... I found the cognac, right? Bring a mug of beer and some river sand. Mug of beer and sand. Let's see. Adding some hot water to make the dish soap foam up can help capture the flies as well. Hmm. Zenith, there is a good course called Seven Seasons of Reconciliation that was very hard hitting. We did it for work and has a lot of history that wasn't even vaguely mentioned in school. Yeah. For me, the big thing learning about that kind of really opened my eyes to things was um, I read this book called 1491. Um, and so it's basically about um, the history of the Americas up until um, Columbus, you know, Columbus arrived and the, the settlers arrived. Like, it's actually like there's a whole period of time across which it spread. But basically, you learn about the cultures and the history and how, like, massive they were and how advanced they were and how, like, um, you know, this was their place. And then, you know, how history uh, in the West has completely skewed that. Because if you know those things, it makes it clear the dark stuff of our past that we need to atone for. Um, and so it's easier to just be like, nah, nah, we should have. We did the right thing, right? Um, ooh, I got a sin shard in that guy? Let's put him back. I don't know how I feel about that. see if this one has a sin shard you do too okay archer's doing the thing again wait let me take the first one again just to double check okay they both do all right well is it just because they've been sitting around for a while boop 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 okay I should be getting more bodies. I should fill that thing with carrots. I just haven't been. Uh, ooh, get some gold. All right, let's have you start breaking down all of those fences. This is the cycle of um, getting <laughs> blue points, which is making a bunch of things for blue and then having them break it apart so you get part of the resources back. Efficiency. Do, 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 do. Welcome on in. How you doing, Caramel Latte? Uh, parts. We got faith. Okay. Let me look at what pages I've already got. Will I be able... How are we doing on... We have the 20 wine as well, so I should do that. Um... How am I doing? I, uh, sick, dealing with the negative effects of COVID. Um, but I'm on the, the brighter side of things, so that's good. Do I not have any chapters or anything? I do not. Wow. You'd think I would have gotten some just naturally by now. Hope it gets better soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing better. Although as I'm doing this, I'm realizing like, oh, my voice is getting kind of sore. Um, Chrissy is not feeling great, which makes me feel bad because I'm the one who got her sick. Honestly, if you're traveling right now or soon for the holidays, take extra precaution in um, airports. That's probably where I got it. Um, and apparently the numbers are just massive right now. So if you're heading home for the holidays, whatever, be extra careful. Make sure you're uh, boosted 
Chrissy and I both got the most recent booster. So at least for me, it took, I mean, I've been sick for like three days. Um, it took, um, like one really bad cycle. Well, two, 48 hours that were rough. And now it's just like, what sucks is that I can't make it to any locals until maybe on Tuesday next week. Um, or maybe not at all for the rest of Stop Miss, which sucks just because of contagion, you know? <clears throat> oh, um, what I will say is if you're in America, the um, CDC just reopened the free um, COVID tests that you can order a number of free COVID tests. So um, I would say look into that. Free is free, all right? And everybody should be taking them. Customers always ask you why you're masking at work and I have to explain to them that people are gross so I don't want what they have. Absolutely. And that's another thing. People, like a lot of people, okay, A. <laughs> if you get mad at someone for wearing a mask and they are not you, go to hell. <laughs> like, who cares what someone else is wearing? The only reason that you get upset about that is because you're completely insecure about the whole thing. And you're like, well, if if I don't believe in it, then you believing in it, that's that's against my freedoms. No, asshole, you're the one who's going against someone's freedom because you're telling them what they should be doing instead of like, I don't know, minding your own damn business. That's what you want, don't you? You want people to leave you alone? You want your freedom for, for your freedoms? Then shut the hell up about what other people do. Give other people the freedom first, okay? Give other people grace and then you earn it, not the other way around. <clears throat> oh, and double check the expiration dates. That's a good call. That's a good call. I will say, when I first took the tests, we had one set of tests that didn't work. Like, I took two of those tests and neither of them even had the um, control lines. Um, and then when I took the other ones, I it said I was positive, like, <laughs> right away. <laughs> uh, it was like, within three minutes, it was like, oh yeah, here's the control strip and here's you. You're done. Oh, snap. Got an Intelligame raid coming on in. Hello, hello, y'all. Welcome on in. Um, Josh, how you doing, buddy? Uh, what's going on? C4 chair with them $3.31. A little tiny bit for Graveyard Keeper. You're hooked on this game. Hey, you just fed somebody. $3, you just fed somebody. This game's incredible. This game's incredible. Uh, it's Moon Day. How much money do I have? If any. Three silver. I think that's enough for a red one. But also, I can go to the, the dead horse and I can actually sell this wine and then I can buy some things. Um, so y'all, if you don't know, we are, um, oh, I need to buy the land for wait, under Dig's name. That's right. Um, we're raising money for World Central Kitchen as a part of Thankmas. Um, it's a fantastic charity. They go around the world, give food to people who need it the most, people experiencing famine, the negative effects of war, um, natural disaster, Right now, they're currently in the Middle East doing a lot of work there, um, which is desperately needed. Um, so anything you can donate helps. One dollar is a third of a meal. So that alone is valuable. Even one dollar if you can donate that. And if you donate a dollar, you'll get entered into all of our giveaways for this whole thing. I think at this point, we still have like 150, maybe 200 keys to give away. Um, and we'll be doing that over the next couple of days. Uh, I told everybody I will be... Uh, how much money do you have? One silver. Um, oh, I could sell you a couple of these. Um, I will be giving away full sets of Graveyard Keeper here in a little while. So it'll be the, the base game as well as all of the DLCs. Um, oh, well, isn't that nice? Um, so definitely, um, <clears throat> get your dollary dues in if you want to be a part of that. Um, you know, you could end up for your $1 getting <laughs> a $50 game, depending on what we, uh, what we roll. Oh, another one of these. I'm going to be honest. Never done this before. A rusty axe. That one is less useful for me. We're doing some amazing... Thank you so much, Josh. Appreciate that. It's the fantastic community that we've cultivated over the past 
uh, almost decade that really are the ones that are responsible for this. I feel incredibly privileged to have been a part of bringing all of y'all together. Um, it really is one of those things where, you know, you see other communities online and the sort of excessive toxic nature with which they engage um, cultivates communities where even though they can be massive in size, they don't necessarily give to the same degree. But our smaller community gives so much. So, you know, thank y'all for that. Oh, hold on. Cancel. Pause. Uh, Nightshade767 with them $20 redos. Thank you so much. Appreciate ya. Howdy, new person. Mix us up. How you doing? Are you, uh, are you talking about me? Have you not seen me yet? Hi, I'm Price. I'm a quarter of stumped. Been here for a long time. Long, long time. All right, what do we got? We got 10 for a... Uh, let's get... I want to focus on reds right now, I think. So that's nine. That's 14. We'll do that again. Finish. And then once we get around to um, the merchant day, we'll we'll make all the money in the world. Okay. Where does that put us at? 236. Okay, cool. We can get our price of faith. Awesome. We can get our me of faith. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of paella. I'm the newest member of Stumped. Anna, how dare you? Oh, man. <laughs> it's so funny that, like, Stump started with Ash and I just kind of being, like, watching YouTuber stuff and being like, we could do that. <laughs> that's basically... It's basically what happened. Um, okay. Zombie gardening. Um, okay. Where's zombie mining? Or have I already unlocked that? Or is that under zombie? Oh, there it is. Zombie mining. Okay, I do have it. I do have it. Okay, I just need to figure out what that costs. Let's get zombie quarrying as well. Uh, marble quarrying next. Okay, so I just need blue. All right, let's do that. Who is the Bryce person? How dare you? How very dare you? Zombie? You asking about zombies? We got zombies. Oh, we got zombies. We started in 2011? No. It's 2023. We started in 2014, 2015. <clears throat> We're coming up on our ninth year, I believe, in February. So however, whatever that works out to. All right, I think we can make more cakes. When in doubt, cake it out. Oh. Can I believe how old internet is? Don't, don't tell me that because I'm older than internet. At least older than publicly available internet. Um... Okay. Oh, 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 oh. How did we get a quarried rock down here? Do we have somebody delivering those? No, I, I probably put that there. Okay. We bought all our books for today. Ash said 2014. Yeah. Boop, boop. Oh, I need to go check my grapes. There's so much to do in this game. It's just back and forth all over the place. I should probably go get some tea in a bit. This Coca-Cola ain't helping me too much. Coca-Cola. Oh, I didn't build my other furnace. I need to do that. But let's look into making some notes to make a chapter. How about that? Oh, good. I'm on one hundo. That's wonderful. Just make a bunch of these. You remember dial up as well, but then I'm between jazz and price and age. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I mean, you're that's a that's a tight space right there. That's a six month window. Jazzy's older than me, but not by a lot. Doom. You found us through our first Overcooked playthrough back in the day. Cool. Cool. That's pretty far back. It's pretty far back. You almost convinced your partner to start streaming together, but neither of us have the discipline. Huge kudos to y'all. That's honestly, that comes down to Ash. Ash is incredible at like organizing and planning. Um... It's probably why he ends up being a project manager. Who's the youngest? It is I. I am the youngest. I am the baby. Although personality-wise, Anna's the baby. 
gotcha. Boom, boom, boom. But for real, we're the we're the most childish. It's almost like Jazz and Ash are uh, adults. What's that about? Okay, chip da. Ninety. We risk it. We risk it. I have extra pages. Burn. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Now, I think a chapter's enough, right? No, oh, I need a book. Darn. Well, I could get a better prayer for faith, though. Which, in the short term, because we have Sunday, like today, I will do that. Ooh, there's a 10% chance of gold. Pray for it, y'all. Not likely, but pray for it. It's fine. I didn't expect it. Okay. Let's put some stuff away. We're still, we're in a good spot once I can make three more of those, but just getting this will be useful. You're in an underserved rural area, so we didn't have any type of broadband until 2010. Oh man, that's rough. You know, it's one of those ones where people are always like, if you want, um, you know, to live on a more modest budget, you know, move um, further inland to the Midwest, um, go into more rural areas, but it's like when you do this, you need um, the fastest internet you can have. So you have to be near a city because you also need it to be repairable within a very short period of time. Like if I lose internet, I'm losing money. That's I can't do my job, you know? So that's why most streamers live in like Texas or LA or like in places like us, like, you know, in Seattle or in Portland or whatever, because you need it, which can suck, <laughs> which can really suck. All right. Can I make any candles? Um, but no, I think I had internet probably in like 20, uh, not in 20, in 1990. Seven ninety-eight. I'm trying to think. I know I had it in junior high. Um, I don't know. I don't remember if I had it before then. I think it was probably like ninety-eight um, when we got it. Which was about the time that my my peers were getting it as well. ASL. Oh man, it's so funny, Smolecule, because. What I've learned from the latest discourse from the youth um, is that for them, ASL stands for as hell on um, on TikTok. It's like that as hell. And so people our age laugh because that ain't what it means. And then the other thing is it's an acronym for American Sign Language, right? Which is what a lot of people will hear. So the fact that then you have the youths going around saying, no, 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 it's as hell is hilarious. And this is one of those situations where I want to say um, the new version is silly. As hell, like as L, like, I don't know. There's a better way to do that. But then again, I guess we're olds, right? We're the olds. I'm learning more and more what it means to be an old, which is just more and more recognizing that what we used to see as a cringe amongst our parents ended up being, um, uh, uh, actually it was like, oh no, you know, for them, that actually was the cooler thing. That was the better thing. And, um, for us, you know, we were cringe to them. Um, it's just from our perspective, it was like, oh, you're so in the past. You're so this. And it's like, no, don't you see? Y'all are bringing back Junko jeans. Y'all are bringing back wide leg flares. You know, you're bringing back all of these things that we were embarrassed about. And that's why we left them in the past. Why do I wear tight pants? Because wide leg pants like that are embarrassing. All right. Uh, so with that, like return to that, um, it's shown to me that, oh, okay. 
There's no way that an older generation will ever be cool to a younger generation. And there's no way that an older generation will accept the younger generation's things, or at least a lot of them, because we abandoned that long ago. To us, you're living in the past. <laughs> uh, anyway, to all of you out there with your giant pants and your neutral tone clothes, I'll see you in 10 years when you've changed it up. Uh, okay, so good on faith. We got some silver, we got some parchment. Um, anyway, at the end of the day, uh, everyone is cringe, as they say. The whole, oh no, the thin line eyebrows, oh no. I mean, I'll say that culturally that's different amongst different groups of people, so I can't fully throw that in the, in the trash, but um, certainly it was a trend that died down. Uh, I'll say this, like the trend of like a little while ago of being chuggy, um, that's full, that was fully just being 2000s. That's all that was. Okay. How am I feeling on stuff? Is it, it's Sunday, we did our thing, we're good. Okay. In terms of our abilities, ooh. Assembly stamp could be good. We also have marble could be good. I think I need to get this so I can have the carpenter bench too. Yeah, we'll do that. As much as I would like some of these other things. Um, you can rip my skinny jeans and sidebar from my cold dead hands. Oh gosh, y'all. Are you telling me that a side part isn't cool? Because I'm just going to go ahead and say a middle part. Unless you got the right face for it, a middle part does not look good. A side part works for anyone. That's kind of the whole thing is it's just like you either you can part to the left or to the right and you will find a way to look good. Middle part, you got to have a specific like look that fits it, you know? Um, you know, no shade. It's just like, it's like glasses. You got to know what fits your face. No, it doesn't work with your hair? Nah. I, there was a time, like Jonathan Taylor Thomas, man, I wanted to uh, have that middle part, but it never worked for me. And I recognized that. Advanced alchemy, anatomy two could be good. Zombie logistics. Let's get that because then we can porter from all the way up at the, um, um, what do you call it? The quarry. All right, and then what can we get in here? I would like to start building the better things. Okay, we're going to save up. We're going to get Illumination of Faith, and then we'll get Softness of Faith. We can start upgrading our church, get some more stuff from our church. You're now questioning if the middle part you've had for 20 years is bad or not. If you've had it for 20 years, it's probably fine. Okay, but somebody pointed something out. I want to, I want to look back at this because I'm unaware of something. Your hair naturally parts in the middle, and you for sure like a side part better. Well, there you go. JTT, you know it's Molecule. Hold on. All right. Okay, just the side part came back, or the middle part came back. Um, but like for me, I wanted the middle part because... Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Shouldn't click outside, just scroll. Um, I wanted it because... I wanted to look like Trunks from DBZ because he was the coolest person I could possibly think of in 1999. Um, and when you're in middle school, that's when you make all of your rash emotional decisions that will have an impact on you for the rest of your life. It's just how it goes. When you are 13 or 14, you will be experiencing the things that you will find yourself the most emotionally attached to for the rest of your life. Just accept it and embrace it. There's a reason for that. And it's because during your development at that period of time, yes, that's right, Psych Price has put his master's degree on. Um, during that period of time, 
the emotional centers, the limbic system of your brain, because of the hormones that are associated with puberty, um, those skyrocket. They just go through the roof in terms of their development. But the part of your brain that's logical is a consistent growth throughout your life. So as a result, once you get that peak in emotional um, response, while you have the reduced um, logical response, um, you lay down incredibly emotional memories. And emotion is how humans remember the most important things, right? Emotions are what let you know, hey, I'm afraid I should probably run from something, or hey, I feel good, I should probably run towards that thing. All right, anyway. Fashion, it goes in and out. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. From my perspective, I do not in any way feel embarrassed about how I dress. I understand why our parents were like, ugh, baggy pants? What's that about? But what I will say is, I won't attribute anything negatively to you for it. I just will not feel embarrassed for <laughs> disagreeing. <laughs> oh man. So, I'm cringe. You're cringe. We're all cringe. For cringe -mas. Let's see. You wonder if that time span is the same between neurotypical and neurodivergent, particularly autistic people, because I barely remember influences during those years in my life, but plenty pre and a good few post. That's an interesting... That's an interesting question. Um, because certainly, I could see an association with, like being um, neurodivergent and sort of experiencing like the trauma of life um, can change that. And you'd be more aware of the specifics of that trauma. Um, there's a really interesting thing about how our brain works, and it's part of why we suck <laughs> sometimes. It's why we make irrational decisions, it's why we remember things in inappropriately or, or wrong, rather. Um, and it's that when you're highly emotional, your um, crystallization memory, your let's remember this memory, um, like the specifics of it, <whistles> tanks, all right? When you're experiencing something that's highly emotional, your brain says, it doesn't matter to remember the specifics of this moment. What matters more is to go back into my history of emotional moments like this and think, what saved me from this in the past? Or um, how did I find this thing or seek this thing in the past? And so because of that, when you're laying those memories with the highly emotional time frame in there, what you're doing is you're building these experiences without that full detailed explanation. Uh, explanation. It's like your brain is remembering just these like um, primal moments that are associated with it. But because we have this emotional recall, um, you yank those up all the time when you're feeling emotional. Um, yeah, it's protective. It's just how our brains know to protect us. Can you safely walk into the bathroom? Is that, oh, is that one of your, one of your fear systems? Um, oh, so one thing that I, I, I mentioned this for, it's a very important thing I learned in psychology. Oh, oh, oh that's Chrissy. <laughs> Let me close the door. Let me close the door. Okay, go ahead. I, I just, I saw the, uh, I saw the, um, the pink and the symbols next to your name, and I just assumed it was Anna. I didn't even read. Uh, okay, so, um, okay, one of the things I learned um, in psychology that is incredibly important, and I think everybody needs to learn this, because I think it's something that um, would s uh, drastically affect our legal system for the better. We are terrible at remembering things in highly emotional situations. Our brain fills in the gap with false information 
Um, and, and it gives extreme versions of that information because it wants to protect us from that thing in the future. Right, we need tons of nails. We need tons of flitch. I need four, I'm assuming those are level two pickaxes and paper. Okay. Um, and this guy is just going to stay here for a bit because I need to build the porter station. Um, so we're really bad at remembering things in highly emotional situations. Uh, much of our legal system is based off of eyewitness testimony. Um, eyewitness testimony is incredibly inconsistent with reality. Whenever you test it, people remember things so wrong. Anonymous donating $10, thank you so much. Um, so there's a big problem with that, that we put that as the highest form of evidence. And in actuality, it's one of the least consistent. It's one of the least reliable um, because your brain lies to you all the time. And so you need to recognize that when you're recalling things um, that you're more likely to get it wrong than you are to get it right. Um, and that's another reason why it's really important for you to give people the benefit of, uh, of the doubt. It's why you need to give people some grace and some leeway. Because even if you're remembering the um, what happened to a degree, like maybe some of the details, you are likely rem uh, misremembering the specifics. And that can be incredibly important. Who is that? Alex isn't real with a dollar and 69 cents. Thank you so much, Alex. Really appreciate it. Um, so that's not to say that eyewitness testimony doesn't matter. Um, it's just that we shouldn't only rely on that as the highest form of testimony or of, of evidence. Uh, all right, let's do that. Anyway, that's my spiel from what I know from psychology and human perception. And yes, I spent over a decade studying it. Um, do, do. Okay. All right. Tomorrow is the day that we sell these things. Let's see. So anyway, that's not to say people are lying. That's just to say that people are misremembering. Um, there's nothing that one should feel bad about when it comes to that. Just you need to recognize. You just need to recognize your limitations. Your brother had to be witness in court last month and he had to recall what happened almost two years ago. He told me afterwards that he could have not been there from how little he remembered. See? That kind of thing. I can open the door? Okay, cool. Do, do, do. Ah, knocking things over. Um, like I said, I got Chrissy sick, so Chrissy's in sicky mode and, uh, you know, understandably doesn't want to be on camera. <clears throat> So yeah, that's psychology for you. Your brain lies to you. Everybody should learn some level of um, human perception. Like literally just go learn how your eyes work. Just go learn how your eyes work and you'll realize that there is a filter for the world. The door's off camera? It's a, there's a little bit there. There's a little bit there. And our bathroom's right there. So, um, you would, you would see Chrissy. It's okay if you misremember something. Exactly. You just need to be able to like recognize that you could. So again, that's why I always say like, give people leeway, give people the benefit of the doubt. They may be, um, misremembering something, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're wrong. Um, do, 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 do. You're learning a lot about how you store memories when you're stressed or in a traumatic experience. Yeah. It's the, uh, the acetylcholinergic system. <laughs> uh, basically adrenaline makes your brain remember rather than, uh, retain. Okay. What else? What else? Do, 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 do. What? What? What are you whining about? You already ate. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you projectile release that everywhere and now you're hungry? Well, you're gonna have to wait until your dry food pops up. <clears throat> Did I do psych in grad school? Yes. 
I have a master's in developmental psychology, which is the specialty focused on human development. So what I know the most about um, and to a greater degree than most people is how you go from infancy to death, or actually how you go from conception to death. Like we learn a ton about the, uh, the progression of the embryo um, and then beyond to death. And so uh, that's also why I'm really confident about certain things. Um, <clears throat> there's an incredibly controversial subject that I'm not going to necessarily say because it makes people really angry, but that I think one very relevant thing to consider is that uh, there's no actual consciousness. There's no brain activity that... Um, uh, has anything to do with what we would call consciousness or, or essentially life until like 24 weeks. That's something a lot of people don't like to admit because it doesn't fit their uh, agenda. So, anyway. A heart is a... Um, a heart is mechanical. Um, it's a blood pump. You can prove this to yourself because you can pump water into a dead heart and it will start beating. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. What are we doing? We got jewelry. Next day is when we sell it. Did I get to practice? I did research. Um, I have a couple of papers that are published. Um, um, and that's that's about it have i heard about the theory that it's likely that we're a bunch of floating brains in space <laughs> i mean like that's now you're getting into philosophy like planes of consciousness and stuff um i think that like those are the types of things that we'll never be able to at least in our lifetime measure so they're fun to consider but i don't um speak to them to the same degree that i speak about the stuff that i know okay all right, we'd like to work on softness of faith. All right, we do have illumination of faith. So let's make a bunch of the new candelabras. I think they take like this and this and what else? Maybe some of these. What else could go into them? Oh, there was all the stuff that I was gonna build up top, actually. Tons of nails and tons of flitch. Let's do that and paper. Let's work on that. You like being able to learn about psych in such a chill setting? Nice. I also used to teach. Can you ask something related to developmental psychology? Sure. You did psych in undergrad and that's why you switched to animals for grad school? Nice. Uh, Caramel latte is delicious. Donate another $25. On to Price and Chrissy Tree. And thank you for the chat. It's always interesting. Thank you. I love psych talks, y'all. If you watched my gosh four-year-old uh stardew series psych talks was what we did while we watered plants um okay caramel latte is delicioso there you go You're going on the tray brains and meat suits yeah did i have any animal test subjects no my psych professor worked with pigeons the most, so we latched onto a lot of pigeon questions and stories. No, my research was um, in education. So we went into um, middle schools in Eastern Portland because that's where they're the least um, funded and least served. And we researched um, essentially ways to try and get uh, the middle schoolers excited about school, essentially. Um, and so I conducted surveys in middle school classes. We're all just jellyfish that decide to wear meat suits. I like that. I like that. Um, yeah. Philosophically, you could really get into stuff about how we're connected, how things work. Middle schoolers, so you did work with animals? No, they were great. They were great. Like I said, they were like poor communities. They were underserved kids. And so like, um, you know, us coming in because we're part of the university, we're also able to like bring in resources and stuff. Um, and uh, 
<laughs> oh man. There, there's some funny stories from that stuff, but I won't go into it right now. Um, do, do, do. All right, let's get a couple of nails. And I gotta go grab paper. Gotta go grab paper. <laughs> Y'all silly. But yeah, so no, we didn't work with any animal subjects, and I'm glad. I wouldn't have been able to do that. Um, it's like... Uh, I'm... I'm the same as my mom and my mom was always like my mom wanted to go into veterinary and then having to like you know having to be around like euthanizing them and like everything uh she couldn't do it she couldn't do it so then she went into teaching English Lana hold on hey go go no not okay you know you're not allowed down there what are you doing? Why are you being such a pest? Go. Go. Go to your mom. Go to your mom. Go. Call her again. <laughs> They're not allowed under the desk because Lon is a peer. And so she'll pee all over the wall, all over the uh, um, electronics and stuff. So like, you have to be very strict about when they get down there can't give them an inch it's like right now you know we got new couches and so i'm like on constant you know watching them for trying to scratch them you know okay someone asked a question and i, I wasn't able to read it so let me uh scroll up okay the tosd theory of structural dissociation makes this claim that the mind of infants or children are basically split into parts the hungry part the tired part etc that slowly fuse into a singular sense of self well, i don't want to force you to talk extensively about the entire theory would you say that part is something development of psychology would disagree with or be open to um i think i think that it's it works ah i did it again it works differently but like not that far off the way that it's looked at in developmental psychology is that early on um, infants have no sense of self they're what we would call the sense of self they extend to their um, primary caregiver they essentially have no distinction between um, a self and their uh, primary caregiver um, they're they as far as like the understanding of it. There's no difference there. Dancer's foot. Jean, how's it going? Happy seventh day of stop miss. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you so much. I am feeling better. Still not fully out of it, but good enough to do some, some wonderful uh, charity stuff. Appreciate you so much. Do have you been have you been taking food over to Ash and Jazzy as they? just completely wear themselves out from stump miss y'all ash and jazzy do so much for stump miss because stumped hq is in their home so always uh should always appreciate how much they put into it all right let's start building mines and things oh i need to get those and i need to get the paper i forgot the most important things all right back to home actually let's go to the dead horse let's sell some stuff do i have the stuff on me do i have my silver and gold i do Okay, back to the dead horse. Is this the step that is skipped when people fail to individuate? No, nah, that's that's going to be from somewhere else. Anyway, so back to infancy. So there's a, a, a disconnect there. And it's not until kids get into like two or three that they really start to have a sense of their own selves. Um, it's Oh, we can't sell gold yet because he needs to be at a higher tier. Um, so what's really interesting about that is um this is what you can tell there's a test that you can do which is the mirror test um and you can do this with um chimps as well because they do have a sense of self um is what you do is you um put like lipstick on their nose right and then you put them in front of a mirror if they look at the mirror and they just sort of laugh they have yet to um, develop a sense of self because when they have a sense of self, the first thing that they do is they try and wipe it off their nose because they recognize it's them and that they have something on their nose. And so that's when they, uh, we can prove that they have an understanding of themselves as a self. Um, 
That's also when kids learn to lie. <laughs> <coughs> It's part of why there's the terrible uh, twos and threes is because it's when kids learn that they can lie about things because they're separate from others so they can be deceptive. Uh, Bowling Rose with them $25. Price time, price free time. Let's hit all those fun numbers. Let's do it, y'all. We're not too far away from the next goal. Boop, boop, boop. The secret goal. Secrets. Um... So yeah, it's super interesting. Yes, the infant sees itself and the caregiver as one unit. Um, and so that's part of why infants get distressed. Or that's, they don't really get as distressed um, when they're um, in that like uh, uh, birth to 18 months space as they do when they're 18 months to three years old. Um, 18 months to three years old is like the peak of stranger danger for kids. Um, and so I'm on a show with you. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Keep her there. Uh, where did my pen go? Jennifer Knight. Thank you so much. I just had it. There it is. Thank you so much, Jennifer Knight. Happy stuntmas to you as well. Yeah. Let's hit that 8,000, uh, 80,000, 85 y'all. Let's do it before Anna's stream. Do, 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 do. All right, Jennifer Knight. But yeah, so that stuff, I love it. I love it. Is it the boobies goal? It is, Chrissy, it is. Lying's a sign of intelligence. It's tactic takes experience. Yeah. I mean, it's not something we want to promote. We want, don't want to promote deception because with the kind of society that we currently live in, deception is like counterproductive, but it is a skill. It is a skill. Let's see. Uh, that's right. I wanted to make, go back and make some um, pickaxes. And let's make, let's grab some paper. Let's go grab some paper first. Let's see. Grew up with a sibling that was massively neglected as an infant. The importance of your experience of that life stage as well. Yeah, you develop your attachment style when you're an infant, which is... Um, it carries forward into your future relationships. It's something you can work on, but it's tough. Like naturally you stick with it. So examples wise, um, there's um, reactive attachment, which is when um, you, your parent was inconsistent in providing for your needs and for your emotional needs. Um, What's your problem, Chrissy? Um, yours would be a... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> there is a level of negligence and... Um, and indulgence. It's like a... Uh oh, don't answer it. No, I, I, I know it because it's the same as mine. <laughs> You have two parents with uh, inconsistent styles, which leads to an inconsistent understanding of connection. Choose my words carefully. I don't need to. I know exactly what it is. Doom, 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 doom. <clears throat> That's not a call out, you know? You can't control the way that your parents parented you. What you can control is how you go forward to parent your children if you're going to have them. Um, but the only way to do that properly is to recognize where your issues are, all right? Because the default, natural, primal, human response to parenting, if you have no other training, no um, desire to look into and improve as a parent, is to do it exactly the way you were parented. Your brain jumps back into that place and says, here's what my parents did, this is what I'm gonna do. It's not conscious, it's subconscious. And so that's why if you want to break the cycle of trauma, as it is uh, often put, you need to um, recognize that trauma. <laughs> Fire facer. Oh man. It's interesting looking at how your husband received parenting versus how you were parenting. Yeah, yeah. 
and how it affects the way that you see relationships. So the reactive attachment thing I was talking about, that's where you have really neediness because um, the care was inconsistent. So when you needed things, sometimes your parent was right there um, and sometimes they ignored you. Um, if you were needing emotional connection, like love and affection, um, sometimes it was there and sometimes it wasn't. Um, kids need consistency. Um, then there's like negligence, which leads to, um, and that's when like, you know, you don't have a parent that's providing for your needs like at all. They barely show interest in you. They basically just provide for your physical needs. Um, you end up with essentially having emotional distance. You're like, well, I am not going to invest any of my time in other people. I'll do everything on my own. Um, which I would say is kind of where I fit um, a lot. Um, that's what comes from being in a big family um, while also having the parenting style that I experienced. Um, building. So what else? What else? Um, oh, and then like the, the kind of attachment style that you want. There's another type of detachment style, which is like... Um, associated essentially like usually with abuse which is like you have like a uh, not only an inconsistency to emotional response but like a fear of emotional connection like an actual fear um but the when you want the the good essentially attachment style it's mostly about being responsive which can be very hard anxious avoidant there you go um so, um, it's actually, it's not even that. It's like, it's dis, gosh, it's been so long, the terminology. Um, it's the, the word for it is like not a good one. So the disorganized, there it is disorganized. Thank you. Um, so the best way to have an emotionally healthy child that will go on to have emotionally healthy relationships as an adult is to be consistent in your care um, when your child needs things you respond and you respond quickly um, and what you'll find is that your children are less needy when they can rely on you for their needs um, so the big one is like uh, uh, when they're an infant when they cry is responding to those cries um, there's a lot of research into if you ignore the cries of your infant, they cry more because they need a thing and you're not providing for that thing, but their only way to get that thing is through you. And so if you're not providing for it, they continue to cry until you provide for the thing. Um, and, and so that it's a, it's a tougher emotional experience. Uh, so that's why it's important. And it can be far more difficult. I mean, that's the kind of thing about a lot of good parenting and um, whatnot is it's harder. So cry it out as bull. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Like if you have a kid that throws tantrums, it's not supposed to be cry it out. It's actually like remove them from whatever the situation is that's causing them that distress and then do your best to calm them down and talk to them when you're in a less stimulated environment. Because usually when kids have that kind of temperament, it's because they're highly sensitive. Um, it's not that like they're a brat or they're a bad kid. It's that they're highly sensitive to the environment. They're taking in a ton of, um, uh, of like surrounding information and it's overwhelming. You're talking about babies? Yeah. There, there's the one thing that people talk about as potentially being helpful is what's called ferberizing. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, I don't believe in ferberizing. When I was studying psych, it didn't seem like it really stood up to uh, muster. For those who don't know, ferberizing is a technique in which as your infant is growing and they're crying in the middle of the night, it's like, let them cry it out, let them cry it out, let them cry it out, let them cry it out. And then eventually they stop crying. The reason they stop crying is because they've determined that you're unreliable. Um, and so this causes more problems down the line. 
it's, it's causing those issues of inconsistency. It sucks to have to respond all the time, but it's necessary. Now, the, the caveat to that is like illness. Um, sometimes when an infant is ill, um, you just have to let them cry it out, but that still needs to be um, attended to. You still need to be there emotionally. You just might not be able to aid in it. There's the strong lungs debate you've heard, but you don't think it's at all true. Look, there's a very simple way of proving all of this stuff wrong. Different cultures approach the way that infants um, cry and act differently. Uh, and so um, there are uh, particular cultures like um, uh, uh, Central and South American cultures often view that, like you say, the strong lungs kind of thing. It's seen as... Um, being a sign of like strength and power and something to be celebrated um and so it's it's treated in a more positive way um there are other cultures where it's very much be quiet be quiet be quiet be quiet um in which case that causes certain kinds of problems um so when you can see the results of the different ways in which children are parented you can see that a lot of the decisions that we make are less about what's best for the child and more about what society has told you. And guess what? Society is based on hundreds, if not thousands of years of um, doing the best with the little information we have. We now have done a ton of research. We now are able to scientifically determine a lot of these things. We're able to test and uh, observe the different types of parenting and we know what works. <laughs> like that's the biggest thing. There are a lot of books out there that will help you understand this. There's a lot that won't. There's a lot of BS out there. But there are a lot of books out there that rely on actual scientific information, actual research, actual data that um, will help you be a better parent. Uh, okay, Illumination of Faith. We want to do this next. Do, 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 do. Uh, hearing Price talk about this, basically letting me know I'm doing the right thing as a parent to an 18 month old makes me happy and more sure in my decisions. Good, good. It's all about being emotionally available and responsive because what the infant learns is that it can trust the people around it and it can trust that the world is a place where they will um, be able to achieve the things that they need to, right? It seems simple, um, but early on those things are so important um it's kind of how like you'll hear parents talk about something that to them was insignificant but their child holds on to for the rest of their life right because to them it was everything in that moment uh okay let's go figure out what this costs you have two children you keep them close respond quickly and i'm present for them try reading hunt gather parent it's about the different cultures around the world and how to raise them that's great that's great love clover that sounds like a great book my thing is just like, be humble, be humble, recognize your limitations and recognize that you probably weren't parented perfectly. You probably won't be a perfect parent, but you can certainly take steps to be better. Do, do, do. But yeah, often um, when you see someone who is well-adjusted, confident, who in their relationships feels very um, secure and assured, you can probably look at their parents and see some good strategies. It's really <laughs> the thing that's kind of, you know, silly and cliche and true <laughs> is just that like your parents are so responsible for so much of your mental well being. Sorry, parents, you're messing up your kids. It happens. Just try and mess them up as little as you can. Because none of us are perfect. None of us will ever be perfect. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, right. The parts that I need. Same thing in dogs. Yeah. Same thing in anything that loves. Poor care leads to poor results. Um, wait, do I have this sword? I think I do. Ah, wrong thing. So confused. Playing way too many games. I do. I have that sword. Neurospicy is the best thing you read. That's great. This is all well and good if your kid is neurotypical. Well, mine was quite neurospicy and his mind was just built different. We knew he was different from the day he was born. I mean, yeah, each, each child is an individual. Oh, here's a controversial statement. Here's a controversial statement that's absolutely true. 
Different kids need different parenting styles. You are gonna have different kids with different needs and you are gonna have to treat them differently. And your kids might resent you in some ways for that, for holding them to different um, standards in many ways. But um, it's necessary for healthy development of the children who need more attention. As long as you don't neglect the needs of the other children, then you're gonna be fine. But you need to make your parenting meet the needs of the child, not, hey, it's not fair that this kid X and this kid Y. It's not about fairness. It's about what's needed. Um, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh, man. This is one of those subjects where whenever I talk about it, one of the things that comes up is people are like, you're not a parent. You don't know. It's like I studied this for 12 years. I've written papers on this i am an expert on this so yeah you're right i haven't parented i did help raise two children um because you know parenting styles as you've heard um were inconsistent and so i provided the consistent uh, emotional and um and for physical needs of my youngest brothers and guess what they're pretty well adjusted um, and they love me and my older brothers. Like we have such a good relationship. And I think a big part of that was the level of care, um, care, comfort, and love that we provided them, um, growing up that they might not have been receiving, um, from our parents. Um... Bashwin, I know as a parent, it can be so difficult to empathize with young children and what they're overwhelmed by. I remember that most new experiences are always traumatic or impactful. Um, feeling hungry, it is the hungriest they ever remember being. Yeah, exactly. And kids are resilient. Yes, indeed, Sleepy Pepperoni. If you're, if you're having issues with parenting, you can turn it around. You can turn it around. It just takes the admission. That's the biggest issue I've noticed is just people being too prideful, people being unwilling to accept that what they're doing might be bad for their children, which ultimately is going to lead you to a, a, a bad place because you're putting your own pride above what's actually good. Anyway, that's me lecturing and telling parents out there what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Magsy plays. Hi, friends. Hi, Magsy. We're talking about psychology stuff. Um, all right. Does anybody else have any other questions relating to human development? We've talked about parenting for quite a while. Um, do, 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 do. Let's make our, let's make our church super fancy so we can get more faith next time. And maybe I can work on getting that, uh, combo prayer or at least getting closer to it. All right. Um, I could put up more confessionals. Can I not make a shrine or is this a shrine? Okay. So wait, wait, what was the confessional? So the shrine is beams and boards. Confessional is just boards. We'll do shrines because I already have two confessionals. Beams and boards. Okay. You came in at the right time. Well, <laughs> indeed. Let's see. Talked about it being conception to death. Any interesting perspectives on the latter side of that that you can offer? Um, like the death side? Yeah. Um, one of the big things is the concept of wisdom. Um, there's a lot to be said there. Um, but one of the biggest things, and it doesn't happen for everybody, but it's um, something that has to do with the way that you rationalize the world um, is what's called post-operational, um, theory, which, um, essentially what it means is not only do you have a complex and nuanced understanding of how the world works, that things can be inconsistent, that things, um, require really complex thought and you can, co you can conceptualize big philosophical questions and really understand other people's points of view. You have a level of empathy beyond a certain point. What post-formal operational theory is, is that um, as you get older and through your experience and through wisdom, you can achieve um, an understanding of not only all of that stuff, but that two things can be true and contradictory. Um, and that's a really complex thing to wrap your mind around. Um, 
It's something I don't even know if I have achieved it uh, at this moment. But it really comes down to being not only able to understand other people's perspectives, but that those perspectives can be valid, even if contradictory, because the logic that gets them there is accurate. And so even though they may butt heads in their outcomes, they can still both be true. And having that understanding of things gives you a far better emotional understanding of the world. So um, uh, people who have kind of achieved that level of like wisdom of seeing so much in the world and taking it in and actually considering it seem to be able to reach a level of understanding that is like far more empathetic. And so that's why you often find grandparents and whatnot that what they can provide is just pure unadulterated love um, because they've, they've reached a point where they, they essentially go empathy above all, you know, is there a way to exercise or practice this plasticity? Uh, yeah. I mean, you just, it's exercise, you know, that's why they say like engage in puzzles and logical games and you should read and experience new things. Um, it's all about flexing. It's all about exercise. It literally is about it. Let's see. How do you get over a block mentally? Sometimes you get artist blocks or depression for a long time. Um, doing other things. Um, obsessing over something, trying to break through is the hardest way to do it. Instead, essentially resting that part of your mind helps you to like re-engage when you return to it. And sleep. Sleep, um, the primary purpose of sleep is to organize the memories of the day to the appropriate parts of your brain. Um, while you're laying down memories, you're not putting them into the appropriate boxes. There's one box and you're filling it in the hippocampus. And when you go to sleep, that box gets opened and filed. If you don't sleep, that doesn't happen. So you get scattered memories. Um, let's see. It's interesting to see how well TOSD does to get a thing wrong. The more accurate information actually makes more sense. Uh, okay, it's an assertion that a disorganized attachment can lead to the child dissociating a sense of self into multiple sense of self, which makes sense if the child views itself as part of the parent and the parent isn't stable. It would naturally lead to the sense of self not being stable. Indeed. Well, and, and oftentimes it's associated with fear, the disorganized one. Um, exorcism. <laughs> Converting your, RAM, your VRAM into NVRAM. <laughs> Let's see. Um, hold on. Danielle. Ugh, I've had to have some radical acceptance with some medical or medical doctors that have happened in my past. It's something I'm still processing and having to take major therapy time to work that. That's rough. That's rough. Um, let's see. What were we in the middle of trying to accomplish? We're building the faith. Oh, right. Boards and... Um, and planks. Okay, let's do these. That's why you sleep so much. There you go. Laying down all the memories. The talk about children reminds you of your final project for passing your bachelor's degree, developing a foreign language learning app for first grade students. Ooh, that's neat. Younger kids learn languages faster. I appreciate, oh, 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 that's an interesting one to talk about actually. The LAD, the language acquisition device. Um, so, when it comes to language, we know that um, children learn language faster. Um, and especially in the like, um, like three to four, four to five range, like when you're learning language for the first time and really developing it and getting to the point where you can speak really well, your brain is open in a way that what we call um, that period of time or like the, the skill, we call it the language acquisition device. Um, which I know is like a mechanical way of speaking about it, but essentially your brain becomes open and plastic in certain areas. When we say plastic, we don't mean rigid. We actually mean fluid. It's weird. Um, it becomes open and plastic in all of those language regions to a greater degree than ever, um, in your, um, growth and your development. And so what you're sensitive to at that time is laying down the foundations of the language that you're embedded within. And part of what that is, if you're not learning other languages, is pruning phonemes. Um, phonemes are the basic building blocks of language. 
What are we going to build towards next? I think we're doing like marble and yeah, marble quarry. Oh, and then we have the assembly stand. I should uh, upgrade this. So you're pruning phonemes. So for example, um, I speak American English and in American English, um, and I guess all English to a degree, most of it, um, you don't, um, there's certain sounds that you don't make, right? We don't make guttural noises in English, right? So anything along the lines of like a kh or a kh or a tss or a ch, those kinds of sounds, we don't use in English, like um, clicks and pops, right? We don't got, we don't make those kinds of sounds. And so what happens is that during that period of time, if the language around you isn't using those sounds, your brain starts to go, okay, I don't need to pay attention to those sounds. So instead, I'm gonna hyper build these specific ones that are used in my language. If you learn multiple languages in your youth, those don't get pruned out in the same way. You maintain the ability to hear those things to the complex degree necessary for language. So, if you learned a language when you were young, then you, um, or an extra language, um, a second language, we'll call it, that's what we're calling it. Um, you're able to maintain more phonemes. If you don't at all, that may be an issue going forward. And that's why a lot of people struggle to make those sounds that don't exist within their language and to detect them later on. This is where you get people speaking other language with bad accents, with really bad accents and really poor understanding. It's because they literally cannot hear or form those sounds to the same degree that uh, a, a native speaker would. Um, so someone mentioned rolling R's. Um, there was a way you, you listened to a Ruffles commercial to be able to roll your R's. Ruffles have ridges. Yeah, I've always been able to do really good rolling R's. And the reason is I uh, was taught Spanish from birth. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I lived in Texas and I, uh, my mom was just very much like, you need to know this. And so we spoke a lot of uh, Spanglish around the house. And so I continue to do so to this day. Y'all might hear whenever I say where, like where is something or no. Yeah, where I say donde, like I'll often say donde. Um, you'll hear it in videos and stuff like that. It just comes to me naturally because that's the word that I think of when I think where is something, I think donde, a donde vas, right? Um, and just every now and then I'll just, it'll, it'll happen because it's part of how you develop it. And, um, and yeah, and as a result, that's helped me to learn other languages because I, uh, cause I did when I was younger during that really sensitive period of time, it opened up my brain to be able to do that. Um, so I think that's also a part of why I'm, you know, I'll toot my own horn for a second, why I'm pretty good at like um, accents and impersonations and things is that uh, that focus on language and um, understanding of, of language uh, helped to develop my brain in a way that it did that. And also being reinforced from a young age by my family who thought I was hilarious with all the uh, sounds I make. <laughs> that reminds me, my grandfather used to think the, the, the funniest thing to him was when I would do a, uh, an impression of the movie, um, uh, uh, oh gosh, old school. Uh, it's an old Will Ferrell movie. And there's a scene in which he gets hit with a tranquilizer dart and then suddenly he starts like speaking in slow-mo. So, um, it's basically like, he goes like, he goes like, wait, wait. There's a freaking dart in my neck. <laughs> you're, you're crazy. You're crazy. No, nah, man, there's a freaking dart in your neck. Right? And then, like, he passes out. So I would do that, and my grandfather would lose it. So that's another reason why I can do impersonations and voices and things, is that, like, I was heavily enforced. Um, but learning a, lang a second language early on helped a ton. 
Asterisk, there was research done uh, where I live about a sound in our language which is dying, and they found out that if you didn't learn to enunciate the sound before you were seven, you no longer heard the difference. Oh, wow. What language is that? You'll say Tamil words in English sentences all the time. Which What language is Tamil? Where is that from, Nibby? Um, okay, what were we working on? We built our shrines. We built our things. Let's go check on the um, the refugee camp. And then, you know what? We will go try and work on that. Getting a, a beer. Norwegian? Ah, gotcha. You live in British Columbia and no one speaks French here? Yeah, that's the other side of the country, right? Or the... Yeah. Um... Refugee camp. All right, we're at four of four. So... Let's go grab... I have cloth. I have dowels. I don't know where to build a bed, so I think they're going to probably teach me that, is my thought process. Because I don't... I don't have a tech for it, but I'm assuming it could be... There's a spot... It's not going to be in gardening. It's not going to be in book writing. Maybe out here? Not sure. Yeah. So, I know I have some of that cloth in the... Um, it's so... Oh, man. All right. We'll just walk back right now. Let's see. Blue Witch Viking, here at our home, we speak a mix of Danish, German, Swiss German, and English with a little Italian spice to it. I think my girl will be okay with languages. Yeah. A lot of uh, y'all in um, Europe and in the, in the rest of the world, really, because you have to learn English because it's sort of, quote unquote, the language of the, the world. It's really just the language used in the, the economy. Um... But uh, that it gives you an up. It gives you an advantage on learning languages later on. We have a weird, we have a KJ sound that if you don't learn it at a young age, you hear it as an SJ sound. Oh, so like a, like a, sh let's see. So there's sh, 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 like a j and a, and a sh, something like that. I'd have to, I'd have to hear it. Um, like I said, I I think that my brain my my therapist has said that I'm an auditory learner, um, auditory processor rather. So like the best way for me to um, learn something is to say it out loud, like to to run through it. Um, and so uh, as a result, I'm very sensitive to sounds. So just as a challenge to myself, I'd be curious. I kind of want to look into that, Esrus. Um, it's an Indian language pronounced more like Tamil. It was also in Venba. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Squirrel question. Are you from Southern US? Me or squirrel? I'm from Texas originally, um, but I've been up in Oregon most of my life. Um, but I learned enough of my language in Texas that I fall into a Texan accent as soon as I'm around a Texan. And sometimes it comes through otherwise. But um, being an auditory learner, you'll also notice a lot of the time I will say after someone says something, you'll often hear me repeat it. Like if someone tells a joke, like if Jazzy or Anna or somebody tells a joke, I'll often repeat it almost immediately as I'm laughing. Um, it's me processing it and it's, it's subconscious. I don't like think to do it. It's just like, it's how my brain works. Um, it's even harder when you know two languages aren't even remotely close, like English and Filipino. That makes it even easier for you to learn languages because you contain, you have more phonemes at your disposal. Um, it may make it harder to distinguish certain ones from each other because you don't have the hyper fixation on the minute details. Um, I guess that's an important thing to, to say is that like we as um, people in the modern world, we would say knowing multiple languages is like a superior thing to have in terms of like your ability to do things in the world. Um, as far as your brain's concerned, it's not better or worse than any other way. It's just a different thing because the less, the fewer languages that you do learn, the more precise your knowledge of your language is going to be. 
You don't hear y'all often unless someone has roots in the South. I have made it my mission, and I believe I have been very successful in convincing other people to use the word y'all. And the way that I've done it is by reminding people that it is a gender neutral way of speaking about everyone. It's you all, it's y'all, right? Versus you guys, right? A lot of people say you guys, ladies and gentlemen, right? That's not as inclusive. Saying y'all, that's everybody. Folks is another good one, Kaya. Yeah, folks is another good one. As a life Midwesterner, I love y'all. It's great. Yeah, it's just it includes everyone. Doo -doo -doo. So, if you don't already, use it. And uh, yep, y'all really increased too with using more inclusive language. I know I did it. Y like, I'll just say this. I was a trailblazer around here. I know that amongst my grad school and my undergrad, I was able to convince everyone around me to start using y'all. And it was just as simple as saying, it's not gendered, right? Because as soon as you realize that, it's like, oh yeah, that is a better way of doing it than you guys. Anyway, not to throw too much shade on that, just like, you know, it's a recognition of we have a more complex understanding of gender that you can't even just break it down to um, uh, men and women, but you also want to include um, non-gender conforming individuals, non-binary individuals. Um, so in that way, y'all or folks, I do like folks. I know a lot of my friends who use folks. Um, okay. Let's go to the lighthouse. Let's buy more things. Oh, and you know what? I can go buy... Oh, refugee camp. ADHD plus conversation. All right, we're going to buy all the books. I've got plenty of money. Uh, boop. All right, we're at 46 silver. I might still be able to buy the thing, or I'm very close to it. People always start work emails as ladies and it kills you. Yeah, that's a little... Eh. You started using they in all of your professional work. I think that's a much uh, a much safer way, I'll say, to uh, of protecting people's um, gender identity. And um, you know, as I've always said, like, and and from what I've heard, um, is that you know, if you make a mistake, just correct yourself. Don't make a big deal out of it. Um, and and that's kind of the way to approach that. You tend to use y'all, friends, and folks interchangeably. Boom. Great, great words to use. You don't associate you guys with male. Yeah, and, and that's one of those ones where it's like most people don't associate with a gender, but some people do. And especially if those people are sensitive to it, it's like better to err on the side of uh, that. Oh, a skull in the ground. Okay. I told y'all I've been playing um, Escapist again on my Switch. And so in my head, I was just like, oh no, I've got contraband. I need to go hide it. A skull is contraband. Let's go ahead and buy some eggs. I don't think I need too many of them right now, but might as well. No, save it. Okay. And then let's go buy some milk as well. Ground skulls. Find the ground skulls. That's a great one. My professor years ago rationalized it this way. If guys plural is gender neutral, if I said the word guy in the same way, is it still neutral? Boom. That's a great, that's a great uh, way of looking at it. You sometimes use gang to refer to the stump team. That works. Because it has a bad connotation. Nah, gang's fine. It's like, um, yeah, gang's fine. Does it have a negative connotation? Eh, in, yeah, in some ways, but also I think it just refers to like a group of people, a band of people. Just we often associate it negatively. Um, you know, it is what it is. You've been tired all week. Happy to finally get to see another stunt in the stream. Well, Crystal, I'm glad you're here. You consider dudes neutral as well. I call pretty much everyone dude, um, which I think I need to work on. Um, but I do refer, I, I use dude all the time. Um, doo, 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 doo. 
Because I think I also use it as like an exasperated sound. Like, dude, you know? Which, you know. Hi. What you doing? You're hiding? You just want to hang out in here? Okay. <laughs> you're dying. I'm sorry you're hurting. What you got? Huh? That's peanut butter? Oh, that's the same. I thought it was a burrito. <laughs> Half peanut butter sandwich. Everybody's saying hi. Um, let's see. You had to correct a friend of yours three times last night for blatantly misgendering one of our friends in a conversation. It's been four years since he started his transition and he told us it's new pronouns. Come on, dude. It's not hard. I mean, were they, were they apologetic about it or were they insistent? A PB burrito? It's not a burrito. It's on bread. It's on bread. It just, to me, it looked like a burrito. That was my misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. I mean, within the context, that was pretty funny. Chrissy said, don't misgender my food. Um... Voice use guys is a word for a group regardless of gender. Yeah. And again, you know, it's kind of like about just trying your best to, you know, remove the kind of assumptions from language and whatnot. Everybody's going to be able to do it to a different degree. And um, as long as you're aware of it, understanding of it, working on it, I don't think anyone can really get mad at you for it. Or at least... I feel like in that context, if someone's getting mad at you for it, it's because they're kind of holding a grudge. Um, personally, like I've said earlier, I think you should always give people the most grace that you can, give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, that's my personal philosophy. You might not align with that, but that's the way I see it. If someone's genuinely trying to work on something, then you should applaud that. Because otherwise, how is how are people going to change? If, uh, it's like that whole thing about like if you continue to bully someone on stuff like that, they're going to stop trying to change at some point and they're going to be like, well, I'm going to double down because there's people over here when I double down who will support me. So always consider that too. Stop dying. Please stop dying. I'm sorry I got you sick. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Bye. Everybody say bye, Chrissy. All right, give me some, give me some sticks. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Y'all about hey you and great to see you. That works too. Chrissy is a burrito. You turned yourself into the burrito. Oh, where can I put this? Do. Do, 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 Okay, cool. There you go. All right. Oh, does the bed mean a tent? The, the bed probably means a tent, doesn't it? Also, just because you guys has been used commonly to refer to everyone, it's only that way because society's deemed it so, and I think it's in part that most of the world's very male-centric. Exactly. Exactly. The masculine term is often considered the neutral term societally. You love stop dying instead of feel better? That's because Chrissy always says, I'm dying. How am I since I spread sickness to Chrissy? I feel horrible. <laughs> I feel bad. But at least now I'm feeling better so I, you know, can do stuff like I was cleaning up this morning. I'm going to try and do a bunch of laundry and get most of our plague stuff dealt with. Because, um, you know, just because you're... We're, even though we're both sick, it doesn't mean that, like, our responsibilities stop, you know? But it's up to the person who's less sick to kind of <laughs> try and take the reins on that. Is it okay to use my fellow mammals instead of guys? I think that's funny. I can't th see a way that that would be received as negatively. I could see people being, like, a little confused. It's my fault. It is. Hope we're both on the mend as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting on the mend. I think what it'll, what it'll be is as we get close to the end of the stream, which is in two hours, um, I will start to get tired. It's the fatigue that hits me the most. 
Um, so that'll be the the real test. Oop. Okay. Yeah, let's light these suckers up. All right, I didn't make my combo prayer, but at least we're stocking up on faith because faith really is such a limiting resources. How did Anna dodge it? Uh, Anna was not feeling well yesterday for like a day. Yeah, Chrissy calls everyone heathens or deviants. <laughs> oh man. Hope it doesn't bounce between us. You've had colds. Um, you don't know if Corona can do that too. That's why I want to, um, like I said, get rid of all of our uh, plague clothes. Sanitize or discard toothbrushes. Yeah. I got a pack of new ones, so we'll we'll do that. But right now, we're both still contagious. Even still, we're going to clear out our stuff. Believe me, I don't want that to... I don't want it to stick around for a while. But hopefully, because of our boosters and building up an immunity from having it, hopefully it will... Uh, it will um, stay that way. Oh, I didn't do my thing, did I? Janice, hi. Let's see. And I dodged because I had it earlier this year. I think my body was just exhausted from everything and shut down on Tuesday. But you're still isolating since you were hanging out with me. Yeah. It's one of those ones where it's like you still have to wait and see if you end up having it, which sucks. But Anna tested today and didn't have it. You tested a couple days ago and you didn't have it. Um, everyone's enemies and you keep them close. <laughs> oh, man test every day yeah we need more tests we're, we're running low but oh I mentioned this earlier um, the CDC just reopened it so that everybody in the US you can apply for and get um, free COVID tests so you should do that we did that last year and the the year before and like we were able to get a good amount yeah Chrissy tested and wasn't positive either um, it's weird <laughs> Do, 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 do. But I'm figuring I got it in the airport. I'm figuring I got it in the airport because the people, the other people that we were around the most with when we were down in um, uh, LA have not gotten it, which makes me very happy because I was like, I don't want to have been the one who spread this to people. Let's see. I should put all this stuff over there too. Oh, you know what? Let's take the meat upstairs. Okay. Let's see. It's probably that nasty cold that's going around. You had it yourself? Got it. I got you hooked on Garden Galaxy. It's great. Xeranth, I didn't test positive until three days after my symptoms. Yeah. I did end up COVID positive, yes. On... On Monday, on Monday, because I was having a cough after stream. And when Chrissy came home, I was like, I've got a cough. And Chrissy was like, go take a test. And then that's when we found out that two of our tests didn't work. <laughs> that they were um, expired or something, because uh, they didn't even show the, um, the control line. You wish there was universal storage in the game? Yeah, yeah, it'd be nice. Your health department says that the standard tests don't show the newer variants of COVID, but then again, normal flu has been getting stronger over the years. Yeah. Yeah, no control line means that it's busted. That's what it means. And it's also, you know, based on like your viral load. And um, I've never had it, you know. Um, so that's probably why. Oh, hi, Taz. Yeah, your name looks familiar. But I mean, hey, maybe it is possible that the other one I took was not, was also busted. Wouldn't that be wonderful? That it was a false positive. I don't think so, though. Let's see. In the US, an at-home test is much more acceptable than a PCR test from a doctor pharmacy. Isn't it the other way? Isn't a PCR the better one? 
accessible, I was gonna say. There's power-ups now. No, I know, we were, um... Someone was telling me the other day that you can make private servers now. Which... That could get me to actually play that game again. How's my sense of taste and smell? It's fine. Let's see. That was you? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so, like I said, I'm willing to consider it now. But that one wouldn't be until after Stuntmas. Okay. Well, you know what, y'all? We are we got two hours left in the stream. How about we give away some keys? Yeah, Chrissy hasn't tested for it, uh, positive for it yet, either. But is clearly not feeling great. You're gonna go test now? Yeah, that'd be good. Let's see. Did I get Jennifer Knight earlier? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm looking down there. Um, your pharmacy recently just started doing COVID tests again for like 20 bucks. Apparently sometime this month, some pharmacies will be able to prescribe Paxlovid. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Let's put this stuff away. What are we doing next? We got our zombie mining going. No, we don't have the mining going. We just have the... Um, what do you call it? Uh, the porter. Oh yeah, I should go grab some billets and rebuild these things. Okay, we're going to fill that guy up. Do, 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 do. Your COVID was just harsh flu with burning sensation in joints and muscles, but that's about it. Mine was a pretty wicked cough. Yesterday, I had... It was rough in the morning. Um, but it's the fatigue is what really did it for me. I uh, have taken several impromptu naps. Um like just sitting down and then it's just like boom I'm out for 45 minutes and then I wake up like ah! all right got the burial certificate gonna be getting more bodies coming through let's put the ash and whatnot down in here three days of a sore throat and six weeks of being too tired to get out of bed oof that's rough yeah again I, I'm hoping and and I I think that because we got the boosters and everything that we're gonna be uh over it relatively or uh, hopefully it means the symptoms won't be so bad okay you didn't get that coffee but the fevers and chills and fatigue yep plus your taste buds went to shit see that hasn't happened to me with the taste buds i um i got chills for like one night um so i think that i just like uh, I've got a pretty good metabolism. And so as a result, I think I processed it fast. Um, I know that like, that's not necessarily where your, uh, um, how your immune system works, but as a, I think I also have a pretty good immune system. I rarely get ill. Like I rarely catch sickness. I have bad, um, allergies that can lock me up. Let's see. Steel weapons could be good. Start going down to the mines. Where's the writing stuff? Paper production. Zombie text generator. That could be good. More faith stuff. Better monuments. If we're going to start getting bodies, start doing that. Oh, oh, oh. Marble. I still don't have marble yet, do I? No. Marble coring. Boom. Perfect. Um, and let's get another zombie, because I totally can. I wish that the... Um, the um, Oh, I don't... I only had one. I only had the one. Okay. We need to make more zombie juice. What do I need for the zombie juice? You haven't gotten it yet? Good for you. I'm jealous. Wait, don't I have the recipe? Oh, it's blood... It 
It's blood and life essence, maybe? Who was that? Miss Jinx 21, donating $25 dues. Happy stop, Miss. Just dropping in to get on the tree. As always, super impressed with this community's generosity. That camera's not up. What's that? Hat thief? Did that? The other ones? Our test expired in February. So, I mean, it's entirely possible that I don't have it then. Um... Salt goo. All right, so that's not correct. Um, blood and... We'll just try one of each of these real quick. What is this? Chaos. Oh, life. Life solution. Is that it? No. Okay, then I need to look it up. Oh, goodness. So, what we will do... Oh, it's life powder. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 because this is solution. I'm, I should have known that. I should have known that. Um, you do a liquid with a with a solid. What's that? Oh, some tests. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. You hat thief. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see. Okay. Um, let's... Oh, I need to grind some stuff up. That's what I need to do. And then we'll, uh, we'll run the uh, giveaway in a sec. Oh, have I not... Wow, I really haven't studied, like, anything. Okay. Right, because it costs faith. Alright, I think hemp probably turns into it. Yeah. Ooh, look at all that green. Oh, no, where's the grinder? Do I not have a mill? Oh, man. So far behind. All right. It's fine. We're learning. A mill. Polished stone, planks, and parts. Let's go work on it. Oh, and then I should go check my grapes, too. There's always things to check. Okay, we're going to pause. My goodness. Okay. Let's get to boobies. Indeed, Nibby. Indeed. <laughs> Pulp team likes plunging their hands in chunky dishwater. Oh! That's gross! <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Um, what of these am I still working on before I go do others? Steel weapons could be good. Getting into the mines, you get so many um, of the ingredients for alchemy. Um, Caramel Latte, gifting a sub to Christy B. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. 984 to boobies. Come on, y'all. Let's do it before the Zumbini race. May your days be jolly. Donated $10 reduce. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Boobies. Ridiculous. Boobles. Like bobbles. Um, breaking things. Breaking things. I'm sick and I'm, I'm bored. Sick and bored. Okay, well now you're just being Lana. Without the sick part. Without the sick part. <laughs> Alright. At this point, she's just gonna do her thing. If she starts messing around again, then she'll get kicked out. If she sits there, she's fine. Okay. We're going to save our points for now. What was it going to cost to make our mixer? Planks, parts, and nails. Planks, parts, and nails. <laughs> Ginger Raff, you just got called out. Mama's in chat. Um, okay. Planks, nails, and parts. Let's see. <laughs> okay. 
I think there she Lana's just being needy because she threw up her lunch. But we can't overfeed her because Lana is severely overweight. And so we're doing everything we can to make sure that she doesn't overeat. And I've got um uh wait. No, hand mixer is not what we want. Alchemy mill is what we want. We need some uh polish stone, which I should have because I had the zombie break apart all the uh gravestones. Okay. Not in that one. There we go. You are here for chill? Welcome, hit people guy. How you doing? What's up? That's what it said. It has a half a line. <laughs> I think it's expired. Okay. You have Chrissy has the control line and the mildest. So we'll just we'll assume we'll we'll take tests when they get here. Jury's still out on science, y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, alchemy mill. That's what I'm looking for. Let me put this up here. Perfect fit. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yep, being six sucks. All right, give me some of that stuff. Oh yeah, when's a body gonna show up? I guess yesterday was Sunday, so I should get one like right about now, I think. Do do do. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, that's acceleration powder. That's not what I need. I need to go get a bunch of my. What do you call it? I need to go get a bunch of my um. The leaves, the crop waste, whatever you call that stuff. The timing? Yeah, right? It was like... <laughs> it's like my brain was like, You should have gotten this by now. It has been exactly... Oh man, see it? I'm getting tired. It's gonna be nap time here in a little bit. You need to rest, and the anti-pulp people are, are the worst. Okay. Um... Chrissy, before you go to sleep, what, uh, when did you, eh, when did you set the thing for? When should I expect the, the call? All right. Chick and 26 donating a hundred dollar videos. This is my sixth year watching Stop Miss, and this is the first year I can donate more than $20. We appreciate it so much. You're the best. Thank you so much. Let me get you on one of these there bobbles. Chick and good. Okay. Do. Thank you so much. 20 to 30 minutes? Oh, okay, y'all. I might have to pop up out of here real quick once that happens. Goodness. Chrissy, since you're in there, is my wallet in there? Is it on the desk in there, or did I move it? Or on the, the dresser? Just so I know where it is. Okay, thank you. Um, What was I doing? Crop waste. I grabbed it. Cool. We're going to sleep real fast, because I have the debuff. Thank you. That way I'm just ready to go. Just run up to the door, throw on a mask, say, hey, thanks for the stuff. Considering what you, uh, what we requested you to get, you probably know. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go research and mill this stuff. And then 
And then I should be able to make some, um, some zombie juice. A fair amount of it, I think. Uh, do I need to research it? This is the whole thing about playing so many files of this. The people delivering use the test. Oh, no. Um, yeah, it's going to be one of those ones. Hey, I'll show you my ID from over here. All right. You probably don't want to touch anything I've touched. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll put on, like, plastic gloves. Do, 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 do. All right, you and blood. You need chat hugs? Send digital hugs, y'all. All right. Zombie powder. Zombie juice, rather. Yeah, wrong buttons. Ooh. All right, I've got the... Yes, I've got the faith on me. I've got the juice. Boom, boom. 874 to the boobies number. Ooh, this body's not good. Let's go take some stuff out of it. Okay. Take out the blood. Just take out all the soft spares, as they say. Yeah. This one ain't great. I'm gonna put it back on the rack. And we'll um we'll probably cremate that one. This guy's just about as good as any of the other ones. Okay. A new zombie has appeared. Okay. So this will be my my local for a little bit. And then I'll um, move him up to the quarry. All right, we're done on that stuff. Whoops. That's right. There's only one way I can get around. It's like, Aah. I need to move some of those things. Benny says, if you've been saving a donation because you don't want to overshoot, let's blow it away. Yeah, let's get there. Come on. Let's do it. Is my inventory that full? Jeez Louise. What's going on? Why are you... Goodness. Okay. Uh, nope, not doing that. Oh, wow. Legit. Full inventory. All right, let's just put some of this stuff away temporarily just so I can pick all this up. Do the thing. Do, 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 do. I need to be making better fertilizers, too. That's probably something I should start working towards. Okay. Do. Do. Okay. Is that all? Yeah. I can leave the goo, I guess. Do, 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 do. Thank you for sharing the link there, Benny. For those of y'all who don't know, we're raising money for World Central Kitchen, which is a great cause. Uh, they go around the world. They provide food for people who need it the most. We're talking that they're dealing with famine. They're dealing with natural disasters. They're dealing with the negative effects of war. I say negative effects of war. They're all negative effects in war. Um, and making sure that those people have food and clean water, because obviously that's the most important thing. Um, and being without it is not good. So um, whatever you can donate is appreciated. Um, if you donate even $1, um, you'll get entered into all of our giveaways. We're giving away a lot of keys. We just gave away a bunch of Graveyard Keeper keys. Um, we um, And $1 is a third of a meal, all right? $3, you're feeding somebody, okay? Uh, so anything you can give would be wonderful. If you donate $25, you get put on one of these little brown 
um, little paper ornaments and you go on the tree. And if you donate $100 or more, you go on one of these guys, you go up on the tree, um, and it's just very appreciated. Okay, back home. Let's put away a lot of this stuff that's just filling up my inventory. Oh, it's market day. Crap, do I have... Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Just give me the things. Okay. Do, 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 do. That was close. We sell him everything until we have all of his money. Oh, that's right, I can't sell him gold yet. Ooh, doesn't matter. Take all of his money. Uh, okay, where are we at? Okay, so he just won't buy gold, I guess. Um, but let's go ahead, let's get the, the seeds. Let's get more of the cloth. You know what? I'm going to buy some gems as well. All right. And I'm giving most of that money right back. That's fine. Cannot accept. Oh, because of my inventory space. Grr. Grr. So the reason I'm buying... Actually, no. We, we want to we wanna get those. So let's get rid of these for now. Actually, let's get rid of the gems for now. I don't need them right now. Um, the reason that I want to get those, it's difficult to get gems. There's a handful of items that need just a couple of gems, like the better sword and stuff. And so being able to um, buy some just bypasses that whole thing about having to go and get them. Um, goodness. Okay. Ba -bum 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 -ba -da -da. All right, what time is it? Sorry, 1.30. Okay, we've got an hour and a half left in my part of the stream. Like I said, in about an hour, we'll probably quit playing and then I'll move on to, um, we'll look at the tree, we'll put everything up and we'll just kind of like wind down until the great Zumbini race um, begins. Okay, what are we putting away? All kinds of things. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, that's what happens when you like panic run to a place. You gotta, you gotta deal with the fact that your inventory is full because you kind of forgot. All right, let's grab you and you. Okay, a lot of you go down here and then others go into the church. Did I get the better benches unlocked? Yes. Okay, so we can work on those. Yeah, we can totally work on those. Um, let's put away all this alchemy stuff. I need to build more storage space. Like, it's just... It's become that, that time. And we'll put the faith away. We've got a good chunk of faith, though. Good chunk of faith. Ba -bum 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 -ba -dum. I never grabbed the money. Okay, and plenty of cloth, too. Okay, there we go. So, what are the better benches going to take? Okay, I got to make those, um, like, angled things. So, I need a lot of them. Four times six. Do, do, do. And then twice that for planks. It was planks, right? Just want to double check. Not beams. Planks. Planks. Okay. Boom. So 24 and 48. ABR dropping that $25 dues towards boobies. Let's get you up on the tree. I'm not sure if you're already up on there. But we'll play it safe. Do, 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 do. All right. There you go. There you go. Going up the. Got a lot of y'all today. All right. Where are we at? 79, 232, 35. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Y'all, if we can get to the boobies number before Ennis starts. 
then you can unlock the rage that will fuel Anna towards a victory. Bum, 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 ba, dum. Okay, let's squish these grapes. Man, wouldn't it be nice if I actually am not uh, COVID positive and it was just a false? Wouldn't that be nice? Don't think that's the case, though, considering Chrissy's looked kinda. But apparently they were expired. You're on the big one only? All right, cool. Now you're on this one. Bum, bum. All right, let's make some more wine. All right, if we get silver, then we can give that to the um, Inquisitor and move on from that quest. Why do I have this chisel on me? What was he doing? Was the zombie doing something that gave me that chisel? Maybe, maybe he used it to break the um, stone stuff. Do, do, do. Just looking at what I got. Okay. Um, the other... I always block myself out there. Uh, the carpenter's bench is over here. So... Jointing. Okay. So I need a bunch of beams. Um, and I can make planks from... Uh, flitch, which is nice. Beams. Well, let's make as many as we can. Victoria Venture with another $25 dues. Time to get on a second tree and also let's reach boobies. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry, I got to keep checking to see if the... It's on the way. Delivery estimate 143. So yeah, in a little bit, I will have to get up real quick to go and open the door. Um, bees, indeed. So Victoria Vetra, let me get you on a thing before I forget. Got to pull out more of these. That's how many y'all donated during my stream. It was more than I anticipated. Okay. But y'all always do that. Y'all always break our expectations. It's always funny to me, like, the different ways that we all react to stuff. Like, when y'all donate a bunch, you know? Um, like, I just kind of get, like, a smile and, like, a giggle. You know, I'm like, <laughs> awesome, you know? I feel like Ash, like, gets, like the the high energy like are you joking kind of thing uh jazzy gets emotional i think anna does too um overall uh we have a range of emotions do, 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 do. you get sassy i mean people can go look at uh thank miss see what happens <laughs> Do, 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 do. Just saying, I was there. Do, 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 do. No shade. It's it's probably good to get emotional over that stuff. Nope, I need pots. Do 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 do. Sassy. <laughs> Love it, Demon Lord. Okay. Let's build these things. And then I can get him to build the rest as well. Do, do, do. Bum, 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 bum. I do love the idea that I have to get ID'd for stuff. Like, I feel like they can look at me and be like, you're good. You're good. But, and again, baby faces, you know? That's a major game in the typo, huh? It says craft work when it should obviously say craft work. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Brian. B -b -b yeah, that's a child right there. <laughs> uh, is your dad home? <laughs> the body I received is going bad. Oh no, I thought I, I thought I put it on a thing. Was there another one? Because if so, then it's getting thrown on the pyre. Because it's all sinned up.
Because I know I got one and I just picked it up real fast and I threw it on the thing. But yeah, I might have gotten another one. Oh, it's fine. 91? You kidding me? Easy. It's like once it gets into the 80s, that's when it really starts to decay. But it'll get thrown on a pyre. It'll be fine. Um, okay. Running out of energy. So we're going to set this up to make... We need 24. Perfect. Get on there. Nope. Get on there. So he'll start doing that while I sleep. That'll get me one or two. Your gray hair helps, but then again, you had a friend who went gray at 19. Still an adult. That happens. That happens. Some people, it just goes early. I've got it now where it's, it's on the sides, I think, is where I get it the most. That, like grayish, you know, flip in what's his name? Uh, Mr. Fantastic. Do, 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 do. Did you do all of them? He did all 24? Bum, ba, da, 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 da. No, he made four. What did we run out of? I thought I had all the things necessary. Okay, well, maybe he just is confused. Huh. Interesting. I was about to, because I was going to be like, I couldn't even do it that fast. Reed Richards played by Best Dad. <laughs> okay, got those beams going. Let's put the parts away. Oh, he stopped because it was on me. That's why. Stop because it was on me. Yeah, beams in my inventory. You are right. Okay, so then let's make some more beams. I kind of realized it at the same time as you said it. I was like, oh, it's on me. Yeah, can't grab that, can he? Zombie blue screen. <laughs> oh, man. Bees? Oh, beams. Yeah, and I actually do have a good chunk of bees. I should go make more beehives. Oh, beehive. Bum, bum, ba, da. All right, so it's beams and jointings. Let's put away all these beams. I need 48 beams and 24 jointings. Okay. I should be planting stuff. There's all kinds of stuff I should be doing. But you know, your boy's getting tired. We're coming up towards the end of the stream. Like, I mean, I say that within an hour and 20. Beehaw? Heck yeah. Bum, 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 ba, da, dum. Okay. Hi, Lana. What you need? I don't think you get fed right now. I don't know if y'all saw probably not because she's down there she did a silent meow she just looks at me and she goes like it's cute what do you need what do you need i can't give you anything go go no no lana no 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 what are you doing are you just do you want love what's going on what's going on Man, this is stuck. What you doing? You coming up here? Lana? You come up here? Come on. Hi. You just want love? You just want affection? Hi. Oh, let's go. Ugh. All right, y'all. I'll be right back. Someone's at the door that I got to go answer. Burb. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. That was quick. Yeah, I just needed to open the door, show them my ID to let them know I'm old enough. They have to, like, take a picture of it for their thing, I guess. Which makes sense. Actually, you finish that one. 
I will make more beams. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. And let's go ahead and... So... 10 and 6 is only 16. You're supposed to make 24. Are they in a different one? Ah, there we go. Let's grab all the beams. Let's grab all the... Okay, grab all those. Any in here? No. Oh, I need to planks, not beams. That's right. I need to planks for this. That's right. The beams were in order to make the things. So that's fine. Having extra beams ain't a problem. I'm going to have him just turn Flitch into planks. Because I need to go to sleep. Get rid of this negative. Do, 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 do. Okay. Well, y'all, it looks to me like we're probably not going to get the boobies number during my stream. But we can get very close, and then you can reward Enna with what Enna has desired. Uh, let's put away these beams. Let's grab some planks, because I think I already have a bunch, too. Oh, yeah. I already have enough. But we'll replace them. <laughs> I'm one off. Didn't go in there. Okay, so they're done in here. Now I'm good. All right. Let's go build a bunch of benches. <laughs> Masquerader. <laughs> I got the 69. Enna gets the boobies. There you go. There you go. <laughs> That's so silly. Oh, man. Uh, Alright, we'll put all this stuff in here. Then we're gonna... I need to break all these apart. Alright. And if I could, I'd like to make more candles, but I don't think I have enough fat. I haven't been uh, getting enough bodies. Which is fine. Which is fine. I can buy candles, and because of the type of money we make from selling silver and stuff, I don't have a problem with buying that stuff. Why is this one just still? <laughs> You know the internet is about to go when Price reads the chat out loud before you can even see it update? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay. There we go. And you. And you. Come on. And you. And you. Cool. Look at that. Our church just went up to 49 in quality. I know I can max a graveyard fence before the final upgrade to the church so long as you can carve stone. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Do, 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 do. Like, you just need the resources. You don't need the, the upgrade, for sure. All right, yeah, I have four of those. But you know what? We can go check the... Um, yeah, let's look at what it costs, just so we can see it. Um, yeah, I need the, the, the carved stone, yeah. Um, so... What was I going to do? Oh, let's go check the refugee camp. That's what I wanted to check. Because we're trying to work on these things. All right, we're at five of five. Cool. Got a new one. Awesome. So still building it up. It says I can have two of them. Cool. All right, where's the dude? Is the dude around? Oh, it's almost nighttime. Because I'd like to talk to the guy, see what I need to be doing next. Oh, hello. What are doing? Come on, cook. Tell me what I got to do. What's up? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Chrissy's got it. Probably. Like, it's already starting to show. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. All right. Okay. I figured. So yeah, we're just gonna have to start disinfecting a lot of things. Like I said, I'm gonna work on that today. 
get all my laundry together, get all of our laundry together. Probably we'll change the sheets. Do, do, do. Still have so much Lysol from the pandemic. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yesterday we had like the windows open all day and like let the air get through. How do I disinfect Archer? No idea. No, he's a little fiend. Bum, bum, bum. But I think they'll be fine. I mean, I know that it could be, but I think they'll be fine. Bum, ba, da, dum, bum. With a bathy wathy. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Uh, what time is it? One. I gave it to you in the morning. Yeah. You should be able to. It's like every eight hours, I think. It's been like six or seven. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. Okay. You have a bad reaction to all the fragrances? Do they not have fragrance free? Because, yeah, smells can often get me uh, my nose itchy. It's a very sensitive nose. Bum, 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 bum. You were unable to get those up there. Got it. Okay, what else have I got? Oh, all the, all the honeys and things. Big truck's going outside. Nope, not nails. You don't eat nails. Do, 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 do. Okay. Ah, right. We need to make more pastry dough. Which means I need flour. Got plenty of flour. Let's do that. The best thing about Stump to General is all the cats. <laughs> yeah, I guess we are all cat people, huh? Anna's got all the things, all the pets, but, uh, but yeah. But also, yeah, there's a certain degree of, like, cleaning everything that just, in my opinion, isn't feasible when you have so much stuff. Um, I know it is possible, but at the same time, it's like, uh, just for us, it's just so much. You know? Um, and I think we both have pretty robust immune systems. I think hopefully Chris, you'll be through it by tomorrow. Um, I, like, I say through it, just like in the, okay, now I'm uh, well enough to do things. Kind of like how I'm at. Like, I'm not 100, but I'm well enough to do this and do some other things. Okay, I'm not sure what we want to work on, so I'll just wait. Bump, bump. It's the fur for you. I, I'll say this. I'm fairly certain I'm a little allergic to cats. Um, but it's not enough to make me avoid them. Just my nose itches from time to time. Uh, let's head to the lighthouse. Let's buy more books. I should probably buy a bunch of pen and ink, too. Just all this stuff. Yes. Okay. Got to kind of do it in order. Ooh, I should buy some of those um, book covers as well and the stories. When you got this much money, you can come and do this. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, you get the money, and then that allows you to kind of do more things. All right, boom. And we still can't accept. Right. Um, because I don't have the space for it. It's fine, because I can consume these. All right. We'll take those, and then how much do the rest of these things cost? Yeah, these are not that expensive. It was the, the silver book covers that did it. But still, 40 silver after all of that. It's great. 
Okay, we'll head home, put these things away. You only really notice it when you meet new ones. Do do. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So the reason I grabbed the book covers is book covers are a bit of a pain to um, make, but also I, that's what I need to make the combo prayer is to make a book. Um, so let's look at. I need chapters to make a book. So I need to make some chapters from the pages that I have. Ooh, it's a 90%. It's a 90%. Don't mess with me. Oh, there's, I can make a second work, uh, uh, a level two desk, can't I? Desk two. Okay, I need to make one of those lenses. Let's go do that because before I start, uh, you know what, I need to make more storage is what I need to do. Scroll shelves and bookshelves. Flitch. Wanna? Hold on. You better not be going back where I think you're going. What's up? You wanna come up here? Wanna? Wanna? You wanna come up here? No, so you just you just want something. You want food or something. Okay. I need a soft cover. Wait, do I have the chapters? I have stories. I don't think I have chapters, right? I have notes. Yeah, these aren't chapters. These are notes. I need chapters, which are made from notes. The parent voice. <laughs> parent voice is... Uh, it just comes out, right? It just comes out. That was another thing that we talked about a lot in um, human development is that you do need to use a stern voice when trying to communicate things that are important. Um, there is a trend nowadays to for a lot of people to try and overcompensate and never, ever speak to their child in any way that's not like sweet and positive and oh no it's okay and all this and it's like that's actually not helpful for learning the limitations of things um because it's not communicating with emotion it's only communicating with words and if you want something to stick you need to use both um so you need a stern voice you need a parenting stern voice which is not yelling right you don't want to scare but you want to communicate the severity of whatever the situation is you know it's the difference between now you know you shouldn't do that right and you know you're not supposed to do that right that kind of thing yeah there's a difference between gentle parenting and babying them um do i have the right stuff i do okay let's make a couple of these things um so no consider that you know, before, like, you, uh, um, consider that as part of what you're, what you're trying to accomplish, you know? Because otherwise, it is, yeah, it's uh, indulgent in a way that's, um, not helpful. Do, do. Let's see. Watching your sister communicate with your niece versus your aunt speaking with your cousin. Yeah, is it... Is it soft parenting versus hard parenting? You have to lean hard into paravocalics to get the meaning of my words across to Winston. What's... I've never heard that word, but I'm guessing it's kind of what I was speaking to. All right. Now that I've got more space, ah, I'll put all the word things in here. Here's where the word things go. Do, 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 do. Tone and speed and timbre. Got it. Got it. Makes sense. Word things. Word things. Word things. Later, Bloody Mary. Thanks for being here. Boop. Nope, not you. Oh, inventory's full. 
What was that? No. No, not okay. Not okay. Go. Go. Not okay. You don't get to do that. Go. Go. Goodness. Just messing with things. Just being a butthead. Meanwhile, Archer is just off doing his own thing somewhere. Or sleeping. She's being so weird. Actually, give me, give me one second. Give me one second. If she's trying to lead me somewhere, then hold on. I'm back. Nope, she just wants food. She just wants food. Like I said, that's what, like, if she eats her food too fast and she throws it up, she doesn't get extra food. Because it's, it's one of those things, then she just does it again. Boom, ba -da -boom, boom. Ah, thank you. Okay. Are they like food bowls or something to have them eat slower? They get small bits of food throughout the day. They get um, wet food, and it's the wet food that she ate too fast today. Um, it just it happens. Lana, quit it. She's being such a pest. We do have like puzzle food things for them, but that doesn't normally, uh, we don't use them all the time. Um, but uh, no, she's just being a little butthead. Did I only make the one of these? All right, I have enough to make another one, right? I guess not. Well, we'll go check on our stuff here in a sec. But yeah, she is. I don't think she's ever been this needy. It's probably because I'm super busy and Chrissy is uh, also not available for her in the way that she wants. So she's being super needy. Like I said, Archer's being fine. Okay, those are still doing what they do. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. And my main thing is I need to stop giving in to bad behavior. It's something that I've been bad with in the past. Um, so, you know, that's a learning thing for me. Because I, I reinforce bad behavior and then guess what? Then they do it more. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum. Um, and I think the other thing is um, because they both need to lose weight, I've changed up their diet. Um, and I think as a result, that also uh, is causing them to be a little more uh, of a pain. Okay. But yeah, they have auto feeders for their dry food. So they get it at a consistent schedule. They know when it happens. So when they're complaining about wanting food, they want extra. Boop, boop, boom. 
Bororum. Okay. All right. There she goes. She has given up. Good. Um, okay. Let's see. Are they the type to be unable to self-moderate or are they unable to? To be able or unable? Um, no, if there's food, Lana will eat it. Um, I think it's Lana is part bangle. And so bangles are um, exotic to a degree, right? And um, that's what happens with that, right? They have that natural affinity of food, eat. There's food, eat it. Uh, so that's also why she's overweight because she doesn't stop eating. So I've had to be very, I've had to switch it up to be more controlling and limited. Was that a cry it out with, uh, with attention? It is different with, uh, animals because your, um, pets are not infants, right? Lana is the equivalent of a 35 year old uh, lady. And um, so what they respond to is structure, right? They need structure. They need consistency. Um, it's when they're like a kitten that you would want to make sure that you're laying down that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, structure is where it's at. The main thing is, She's bored and hungry because we're busy. Uh, okay. Let's, I keep looking at the stuff and I'm like, what am I doing? Let's get Perk Blacksmith. Let's get Rules of Burning. Um, just these like little things. Let's get Steel Weapons. Just to start working towards other stuff, you know? Because I keep like spinning my wheels. Uh, okay. What else have been, we been working on? I guess, oh, let's take Build It's Over and let's rebuild our... Um, crematorium stuff. All right. Now, has anyone here um, done the refugee camp uh, quests? And like, what do I need to, what will happen next? You know, um, in that, like, what should I be looking to work towards? Reminds you of guarding in dogs as echoes of their struggles during their time in the litter. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, like uh, guarding their food. Do do do. Because Lana and Archer don't really do that. They will. Um, they might push their uh, head in against the other one to try and get food, but neither of them snap at each other. Um, they're both very patient with each other. Boom, boom. Did you miss Zubinis? Nope. Nope. That will be starting in less than an hour. Oh, down this way. That's where I'm going. Do, 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 do. So you're here pretty much right at the right time. It's in three hours? I thought it started at uh, right away, didn't it? Because I thought they were starting right at um, right at three. Are they not? Yeah. So it starts in an hour, less than an hour. Boom, ba -da -dum. So yeah, not in three hours, but at three. And always remember, good time zone, my friend. Oh, we did, okay, cool. Cool, I was wondering where that wine ended up. Uh, it's in my inventory. We got silver. Okay, cool, so we'll hold on to that for the um, Inquisitor. Oh, let's go burn that body. What a weird thing to say. The top donor name scared you? Oh, got it. <laughs> Times I was constantly confused. Oh yeah, it happens all the time with me. When I'm like discovering a new streamer, you know? Why am I going out here? Scattered brain, y'all. Coming up on the end of stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, 
Okay, this was the one that was 91, so I didn't pull anything out of it yet. I mean, this is a much better body than uh, that other one is. I could actually get a, uh, a zombie out of this one. A relatively decent zombie. So let's take this one. This one was no good. Right? That's the one? Yeah. Just pinning random messages. Silly, silly, silly. Okay. All right. And we're about to have our uh, Sunday times. We've got 40 silver, so I can totally buy... <coughs> Excuse me. I can totally buy more candles if I'd like. <laughs> so silly. So, so silly. Okay. Um, but let's do that. Let's go ahead and get... <clears throat> Goodness, sorry. We're coming up on the end. My voice has decided it's like, I know that you're coming up on the end, Price. Ba -ba -bum. All right, and then we'll buy the rest of the candles that we need. Because I do want to go for the max. Even though I don't have... Oh! Oh, I can get it already. Perfect, I have just enough. Cool. Um, I want to make this as good of a thing as I can, get as much faith as possible, because I have a ton of stuff, <clears throat> I have a ton of stuff to research, you know? All right, there we go, there we go. Goodness, excuse me. Goodness, right up on it. And now let us pray. Our church, good. Ooh, look at all that. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Over 20 per thing. And then when you when you um, use the combo pray, <clears throat> prayer, I feel like it usually um, gives you the same amount of faith as a faith prayer plus a lot more money. Look at all that faith. Look at all that faith. What's happening on my phone? What was that? Just Instacart. Be an Instacart. Do, 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 do. Yeah, when the when the lady came to the door, I like I had my mask on, I was standing far away, and I was basically like, so based on what we asked you for, you probably know what's going on, right? And they were like, Yeah, I'm so sorry. Yeah. They were nice. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep looking at that stuff like that's going to matter. Um, are there any announcements or trailers you're hoping for or would be happy to see? What do you mean? At the, uh, are the video game awards coming up soon or did they already happen? I don't know anything about nothing. I don't really... Um, I just don't really care for them. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I think awards shows I've never been, like, huge into. I think, um, my tastes rarely align with, like, um, popular, um, opinion. Um, and I've always been one of the people who's, like, you shouldn't let, um, reviews or popular opinions shape your interests and I think a lot of times that's what happens with um, award shows like that dunk bot with the $50 reduce just needed to get on your tree dunk thank you so much for everything that you do we just did a giveaway for five keys for uh, this game and all of its DLCs and uh, boy oh boy I would not have been able to do that uh, so easily without your tool. It happened like, bam! Come on, pen! Ugh. All right. Let's go. Bum, bum, bum. Dunk. Dunk, bot. 
Always so helpful during stunt this dog. All right. We are $774 away from the fancy number. And so that's great. That's great. Because if we don't hit it now, we will hit it during the Zumbini race. And I will be very pleased about that. Okay. Thank you for showing that up again once, Benny. Um, Y'all, if you don't know what we're doing, we're raising money for World Central Kitchen. Benny just dropped a little thing in Nightbot that um, can explain that to you more. My voice is starting to go because I'm ill. And not in the I'm so cool way that I'm ill. Different kind. All right, I'm moving. I'm doing some organizing now. Let's move stone products to one chest, metal products to another, wood to another. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. We'll leave glass in here for now. Favorite movies are Wally, e, Megamind, and Zombieland. And the last movie I saw in theaters was Mario, which I saw twice. So I don't really have opinions on current media, though I guess the Mario movie was pretty recent. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, just overall, I think that when you allow that stuff to pepper, to, to, uh, uh, affect your viewpoint on things, I think it can often um, lead you to like things that you don't actually like, which is like you're um, you think you're supposed to like it, so you go along with what's popular, but that doesn't necessarily mean you like it. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? You don't have to like what is popular. And I think a lot of people do. Yeah, I don't know anything about that either. I haven't heard about that. Um, thank you, Christy V. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I appreciate that too, Hero the Bard. I mean, for me, it just always comes down to, what did I just put away that I didn't want to put away? You. Um, it always just comes down to authenticity, and I think the other part is that um, anything that is mainstream, you always want to, like, separate it from, is this mainstream because it is valuable, helpful, pro-social, good in some way, and is it mainstream just because a lot of people like it? Because if it's just because a lot of people like it, or a lot of people agree with it, or a lot, etc., like, that's you know, going with the majority. It's not necessarily looking inward and reflection is kind of the most important thing for you to just be a, a happy individual because eventually you're going to realize that you don't like those things and you're going to be upset that you spent so much of your life focused on those things. Um, and yeah, it comes from personal experience, that one. Okay, where are we at time-wise? Okay, we'll do a little bit more on here. And we'll probably head over to doing the tree and stuff. Um, a mug of beer and some river sand. Well, I know. Let's go grab the other. There should be another. Um, what do you call those things? Death certificate. That guy. Let's also build another one of these. Do, 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 do. And then let's go to the dead horse so I can go buy a beer. And I've got some sand already, I think. Do, 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 do. All right, trade. You can have this. Yeah, selling wine is a great way to make money too. I'm saving this for the um, Inquisitor. Okay, we got that. Let's go back. Limiting oneself to things that are popular or things that are under the radar. Limiting the scope of finding what you truly like. Yeah, exactly. I think Dad of War is presenting. Cool. But yeah. Then the other thing is just allowing yourself to not like things that other people like, right? And you don't have to be like, your thing sucks or whatever. It's just like recognizing you have different tastes, you know? Everybody recognizes that you can have different tastes in music, right? And it doesn't make one better than the other, right? The Grammys 
shouldn't correlate to whether music is good or not. The Grammys basically correlate to what's made the most money. Um, like, <laughs> that's very much what the Grammys represent. Um, just a lot of people think it means, oh, this is the best version of this thing. This is the best X song, the best pop, the best country, the best whatever. And it's like, no, it's the most popular. Oh, this is Clay. This ain't Sam. Um, and so it's just the most um, successful. It was on the Billboard charts for the longest time. So it's like measuring quality over the number of people who have listened to it. That doesn't make it better, right? It's not a metric for better. Because honestly, it's more of a metric for marketing at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly, hero. It's okay to dislike things, dislike things as long as you don't dunk people. Exactly. Yeah, Masquerader. People need to figure out how they enjoy consuming certain content. You like playing games. You also have certain games. You absolutely enjoy watching certain games you played um, more than you like playing them yourself. That's how I am with the FNAF games. I don't enjoy playing the FNAF games. I think that the gameplay um, loop is actually... It's not good, in my opinion. Um, but there are other people who love it. And I love it for the lore and the world building and the design, like the character design and stuff. Um, and so there's plenty there to be appreciated. Um, and so, like, I recognize that. So I don't, like, go and dunk on people for it. It's, it's your own thing. What's up, Chrissy? I've got 30 minutes left. What's up? Why you make sad? Okay, you can wait. Yeah, 30 minutes. Are you hungry? Is that what it is? Talia37 donating $25. Getting on the third tree before the end of Price's stream. Thank you so much. You need more orange juice? Oh, you need, you need a glass of orange juice. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that for you in just a sec. Do, 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 do. Meow, na, na, na. Talia, thank you so much. Appreciate you. With pulp this time? Nah, I'm filtering it out. I'm filtering it out. Can't accept it. I know I just talked about different people having different tastes and not yucking somebody's yum and all that kind of stuff. But I draw the line at pulp. Uh, all right, where's where's Gary? Let's start. Are you ready to shine as bright as a diamond? Speaking of music. I'll be so cool after I'm all washed. Should I be afraid someone will want to steal me? <laughs> the voice ain't, ain't, ain't gonna come out so naturally now. There's nobody around, Gary. You seem a little too fussy today, you know? I don't think so. Just a lot of things to do. Let's get started. Careful, careful around my nasal cavity. It's a little sensitive. Anything you say, Gary Jerry. <laughs> oh, carrying around. <laughs> hey! Okay. Oh, that was the spot. And what a smell. Mm. I must say, you have soft hands. Thank you. Sound like Jason Statham. <laughs> Enjoy your cleanliness. Beerliness is next to cleanliness. All right, here you go, Yurik. Um, finally, I don't—I forget what voice I gave him. I was just about to take a nap. I need some time to find this key. Hey, Chestnut Fang, donating twenty-five dollar dues. Appreciate it. Quickly, give it to me. So, did you find the keyhole or whatever? Oh. Certainly, that part was child's play. Chestnut. Ooh, secret door. Oh gosh, it's vi it's vibrating. Oh gosh, it's oh gosh. All right, look at this place. I've never seen this before. Chestnut thing, thank you so much. We're getting close to the number, y'all. Oh my, what a mess! What happened here? All the workbenches—they're totally broken. Just a bunch of broken beer and wine bottles. Hey, what should I do now? Seriously, what happened here? 
Well, we're here now. Maybe you can finally tell me what's going on. It seems I have little choice. Listen, like I said before, I'm in trouble. In fact, I'm on the run. I committed a bit of a crime. A crime? Oh, don't worry so much about that. It didn't kill or hurt anybody. It's a difficult life in town these days. Even more difficult for certain kinds of criminals. I had to steal my own money to buy a keeper's book on the black market. Long story short, in order to escape and cover my tracks, I pretended to be a corpse and waited for a long time. Okay. What is this place? I've never seen this before. Is this from the vampire stuff? What is all this? Chests and pallets. Okay. Uh, okay, well, well, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Soul's Gratitude. Okay, so this is Better Save Soul, huh? Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, interesting. Need a technology, okay. Interesting. Broken glass. Okay. Well now. This will be an interesting thing to, to deal with next time I play this. Because like I said, I've seen none of it. Oh, does, it, does he have another goal for me? Find out more about him. Yeah, I need to talk to him. But we're going to do that next time I play. Uh, because right now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to call it for playing the game. I'm going to go put up the uh, rest of the ornaments on the tree. And then we'll be waiting for the great Zumbini race. Which will be great because then, <clears throat> then I can rest my voice. Who boy. And Anna, if you're out there and are willing to start just slightly early, not right now, but slightly early, uh, I'd be down with that because, like I said, my voice. Um, what am I doing? Just sleep. Just sleep. Goodness me. All right, we'll just wake up real fast. It has saved. All right. Well, to the YouTubes, goodbye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Do, 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 do. And stop recording.